Guys, welcome to a very, very special episode of Every Man Chats, the video and audio podcast um, presented by Wacker. Now, th- this one here, uh, I have never been so nervous in my life about uh, filming something um, and and talking to someone because I'm a big fan of this bloke and he's a big inspiration to me myself. Um, and I'm looking forward to speaking to him about the mindset behind all of this this YouTube bubble. So I, I'd like you guys to welcome. It really doesn't need an introduction, but I'd love you guys to welcome Matt from Field Days. Dude, thank you so much, man. Yeah, doggy. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted you to say that, dude, so badly. I'm just here man. for the free beers, mate. <laughs> good shit, good shit, man. So, um, can I ask how you're feeling about doing this podcast? I, I mean, I'm honoured that this is the first one you've ever done, man. How are you feeling? Yeah, first one, bud. I feel good, eh? Yeah? Yeah. I thought I'd be a little bit nervous, but I'm pretty chilled. Oh, man, I'll tell you right now, I'm nervous as shit. I'm about to shit me so Oh, yeah, you're, yeah, you're a bit pink in the face oh, there, bud. pink and, and sweating. It, it's muggy <laughs> as well, okay? <laughs> but, man, I, I, I once again, I appreciate you giving me your time. I know how busy you are, and, guys, you, you'll also hear... How much hecticness there can be behind a, a big channel like Matt's, and also I wanted to let people know how fucking hectic it can be. You know how crazy it is behind the scenes. It might look great at, at you know mm. on the on the front there and stuff like that, but how much work goes into it, man? And, and I'm looking forward to digging into your mind about that. Yeah, you know? mate, nobody understands. Eh? No, uh, no, and and we've been speaking off camera about it, and it, and. It's blown my mind, actually, about even your mindset about it all. That has blown my mind. So I'm looking forward to people hearing about that, man. So yeah, I appreciate bro, let's, it. Dude. Let's jump in. Let's get into it. All right. So, dude, you know, naturally I've got a list here, as I usually do. I'll look like a dick sometimes, like a lab technician, because something will pique my interest and I'll just quickly write down because I want to mention it, you know. But it's not being, me being an arrogant prick, you know. No, nah, mate, you do, you do what you got to do, bud. <laughs> I wanted to start off by obviously your upbringing, Matt, that, that you've obviously had some sort of upbringing that's giving you these skills, you know, survival skills. You're all about that, you know. Mm. Where, where does that come from, man? Where did you grow up and where did you learn all this stuff? So I grew up in, originally when I was like a proper grommet, it was in Ocean Reef. Yeah. But then when I was about seven, I moved to a little farm, it was not a farm, seven acres in Henley Brook. Mm-hmm. And my old man, my old man's like a fully blown bushman, right? So yeah. he had, he had well, I think we had eight camels, we had a big old goat, we had chickens, peacocks, you name it, we had it on this little seven acre farm. Yeah. And um, my old girl's a lady who would not let us watch TV. Eh? She's like, outside, go and get out, and we'd be catching tadpoles and frogs and yeah. yabbies down the creek. and Come had, back when the street lights turn on. <laughs> yeah, mate, that's it. Eh? We, had, we had little shitty motorbikes and we used to hack around, and oh, so I had a magic. sick upbringing, mate, like real good. Yeah. And um, I suppose the outdoorness comes from my old, my old boy, eh? Yeah, gotcha. Like so have you got siblings in that, mate? Yeah, younger brother, younger sister. Oh, oh beautiful, mate. You ever yeah. going to have them on the channel one day? Um, yeah, my brother would be a good laugh to have on, eh? Yeah, yeah really? A yeah, yeah. bit of a character like yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, he's a funny fella. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> oh, mint, man. Mm. So you, you, I remember you telling me before your old man's like a proper bushman, so like very... Where, where do you think he would have learned all them? Did he tell you all your skills? Yeah, so he grew up in the loo, but he grew up in like a pretty chilled out sort of like a family there. Was yeah. he never his mum and dad were not in the bush or nothing like that. But he, I don't know where he got it from. Yeah, honest, interesting. Yeah, if he's ever since he can remember, he surfed, he's fished, he's spear fishes. He, he gets out in the bush flat out. And and he obviously took you out as a kid and stuff, and and learnt about spear fishing and all that. Yeah, ever since I can remember, we're out in the boat fishing with him and. Yep. Camp, always forever camping and yep. yeah yeah prop, but we'd proper rough it eh? like it was good fun yeah good shit so mm. and i noticed man you haven't really you well i don't mean this to sound rude you're not really a mod con guy much you're very simple you're a very simple camper would you say that oh you're sim- happy to rough it up, us. that's what i'm all about yeah yeah 100 percent. you're camping with me and you got a coffee car in your machine i'm out of there <laughs> i'm out of there bud you're still over the fire type of thing, huh? Yeah, mate, for sure. Yeah, yeah. good shit. What do you think that is, man? Where, where do you think that's come from? You just, you know, you do you just like that simple way, that rawness, that fucking caveman like? I just love that feel. That yeah, the caveman feeling. I love yeah. it. Eh? Like yeah. I'd cook a fish on coals any day over in a pan. Like, yeah, I don't know what it is about the feeling. It's just it's just real. You know what I mean? It feels yeah. good, man. Yeah, yeah, like primal type of mm. thing. Fuck, amazing. I love that feeling of like. Feeling like your ancestors would have, you know, back in the day when they're yes. just hunting food, cooking it on a fire. I yeah. love that feeling, man. I, that's what I live for. Yeah, wow. I've got a lot I want to dissect about that, like some of your gnarliest fucking trips and stuff like that. Mm. But 
um, you were saying your old man used to ride from um, Henley Brook to um, yeah, like Lancelin Wedge. Used to go on everywhere. a camel, dude. Camels, yeah. <laughs> So that's that's a different like, breed, dude. I've got memories of him. Like, I think he, he didn't. He didn't ride from Henleybrook. He took a trailer to the coast. Maybe Wanneroo back in the day mm. would have been like proper bush back then. Eh? So he used to drive to Wanneroo and then get the camels off, and he used to ride up the coast to Lancelin just with a swag and a rifle. Far out, huh? No water. Like he knew the water holes. They're still there. Then those water holes are still there today, eh? Yeah, right. So he'd okay. ride through the bush and he just no him. maps, no fucking hema. No, nah, none of that back then. Mate. He's on a camel back. He ain't got no phone or nothing. <laughs> He'd be oh. gone for ages. He'd come back with like proper like a little. I remember as a kid, man. He'd come in with a beard and he'd have his rifle. He'd put it down and yeah. oh wow, dude. So he'd be gone for like a couple of weeks, type of thing. Yeah, he'd be gone for a fair whack. Wow, is he still alive, man? Yeah, bloody yeah. We yeah, fish, sorry, we, we fish all the time. Oh, brilliant, dude. Yeah, he's still out there. He surfs every day. Fishes. Oh, good. He okay. right. keeps fit, type of thing. Yeah, yeah. How how old's your old man? If you don't mind me asking. Fuck. Good question. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 60, 65, something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. My old man's um, just turned 70 the other day. Yeah. Fit as a fiddle. Don't look at me like him. He's he, like, still <laughs> lays bricks. You laughing at <laughs> Still lays bricks, like, smashes it, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's right. amazing that, that generation, it's not like from Instagram where they tell you, you know, fucking all these fitness motiva- motivation things. It's just keep fit so you can fucking yeah, survive yeah. type of thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Next, dude, I wanted to sort of jump into your YouTube journey. Like, it, it, it's absolutely amazing. Like, mm. it, um, people are going to flip out that you are on this podcast. So I truly... <laughs> do, nah, yeah. And, and, guys, I need to, if you're listening, I need to make you guys realise I don't think Matt has sort of realised how big he is as well. Like, he's so humble about it all. And that's what I love, man. I, I um... I knew that when I met you, I was super... I was fucking shaking, giving you a beer type of thing, you know what I mean? I just wanted to know so much, man. Um, but I, I wanted to talk about your journey coming into YouTube. Can, can you tell me where that sort of come from, man? And and what, what made you decide to upload stuff on YouTube? Because fucking hell, what a fire it's lit. Yeah, bloody hope. So I used to work in the mines like most crew do in WA. Yeah, of course. <clears throat> where the coin is. I used to do four and ones, right? So I'd work in the mines for four weeks and or three and ones, four and ones, and then a week off, I'd go to Bali. And um, a week wasn't enough, man. Eh? Like I was just like a week flies by. You spend one day on the piers, one day hungover, three yeah. days surfing, and you're back at work. And it yeah. was just, I love working, right? So like the work wasn't my issue, but it was just not having time to do what I wanted. Yeah, gotcha. And it was just doing my head in. Like I know I need to be in the bush and around the ocean, and that's just my happy place, right? So I'm trying to. Fi- I was trying to figure out for ages a way to get out. I was going to go on fishing boats, but you still got to wake up for a boss, and yeah. do, you know what I mean. And yeah, then I was, of course. I was trying. I was going to start my own plumbing company because yeah. I'm a plumber by trade. I was yeah. plumbing up there, so I was thinking about doing my own plumbing company. But then I'm like, that's not going to make me happy. And then this is when I met my chick, right? So she was doing Instagram, and right. she was living in Bali, and she was making enough money to live in Bali. So she's kind of like started a mini fire in me, and then I was like. That's like, a should, dream, isn't it? You yeah, know? yeah. So she was living full time in Bali, just off Instagram, a bit of modelling, bit of photo shoot, shooting, yep. and shit. It was enough to live there. And then she was saying to me, like, just let's. So we actually started a YouTube channel together. Oh, interesting. Yeah, which nobody knows about because it was just a shit show. But we started <laughs> one, and then that lit a fire in me, and I was like, I could see the potential. Yeah. But when you live in Indo, mate, there's so many little entrepreneurs over there, and every one of them will do anything just to not work. You know, like a typical job. Yeah, of course, man. So we um. Yeah, we were hanging around with some people who were doing YouTube, and they're making some good money and having a free like free. All I want is just time and freedom. That's all I want yeah, in life, yeah, right? It. So that's yeah. what I was trying to chase. And then, um, yeah, we stopped the YouTube channel we had together, and I was like, "Fuck, I'm going all in on my own one, and I'm just going to give it everything I've got for two years. If I can't do it in two years, I'll pull the pin and we'll do something different. But I'm just going to put in everything I have purely just so I can have that time every day." Fuck. <clears throat> and and you, you must have. How how deep did you go into planning as far as, you know, like I remember watching your early stuff where you were on the beaches. I don't know if that was Bali or if that was somewhere in Indonesia, obviously, where all the rubbish had floated up and you, you'd scavenge like thongs and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, no and shortages there, that, eh? I love those fucking episodes, dude, because I remember you saying, you know, you, you'd camped in this little hut that you'd made on your own. You heard like, remember something, uh, something had been moved in your camp. Oh, the thong on the stick. Yeah, yeah, and and you were fucking proper. I, I reckon I could see it in your eyes that you were like, "What the fuck has happened here?" Right, pe- people think that I'm talking shit. That's fair income. Hand no. up, hand over the heart. That did not. I did not. That, that was someone put that there when I was asleep. Eh? Oh, I'm just glad they didn't get to you. You know what I mean? Oh my god, maybe they did. I had full, fully blown goosebumps on that video. Eh? <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I can proper. see it in your face. It's like 
usually you can see when shit like that's put on, but I could see fucking. There's been two times where I reckon I've seen a bit of fear in your eyes. The other time being that that in the cave uh, in the cave with the the ladder clinging and shit like that. Yeah, but, that was another weird one. Eh? Oh, that that's one. fucking wild. We'll get into that. But yeah, sorry, man. Keep going. I, I, what was sorry, the question? What was the question? Uh, it, <laughs> so you, you went all in on YouTube, started filming stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then did you see traction straight away, man? So what I did before yeah. I started YouTube, I put in three months of work before I even started. So I would, I, I ran it like I'd run a business, right? Mm-hmm. So you don't just start a bloody plumbing business and just buy a van and a shitload of tools and start work. You got to yeah. do the figure out how to get clients and all that kind of shit. So yeah, that's what I did for YouTube. Wow. About three months. I was like, why do you click on a video? What makes a thumbnail good? Why do people sit on a video? Why do they click off a video? How do you get paid? What's CP? You know, like I went through yeah. the whole lot, but I did that for like three months. Heavy dude. Yeah, right. Doing research. And yeah, like before I even started, because this is like, I only had one crack at this and if I didn't be able to make it a living, I was going to be going back to plumbing probably and I didn't want to do that again, eh? So I was like, I'm giving it everything. So <sighs> it was about three months of study that I did. Yeah, gotcha. Just uh, looking at other people or just, you know, ch- how the fuck do you know what CPU is at that point? But you've obviously dug deep, you know, to have oh, a look I went, at that research. I went three months is a long time, man. I would, yeah. Like, I remember we were traveling at the time, so I'd be through going through these incredible jungles in, like, Jakarta and all this shit, and we're in the back of these. My chick's like, look out the window, and I've just got headphones in, podcasts, learning about YouTube. Like, I wanted it that bad, Russ. I was like, oh, I don't want to ever that. put my boots on in the mines ever again. I'll do anything to get out of that. Oh, what a- Not, I love the work, but it's just that time frame. Yep. It's depressing, bro. Who the fuck wants to do that every day? Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, I don't want to... I, I, and, and I'll tell you what, YouTube is a different animal as far as, like, you know, if you tell tell people about, like, a YouTube channel, they'll look, laugh at you. Some, do you know what I mean? Yeah, bro. Well, if, some, if, some, if someone says mil. to me, what do you do for work? I just I'll work online. I never <laughs> say I'm a YouTuber, eh? <laughs> online marketing. Yeah, nah. <laughs> so water filters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, dude. So... It's actually quite comforting to know that you you, you started a channel with your your partner, mm. and then you're like, nah, this isn't it. Let's fucking pivot and start. Was it the same type of videos, dude? Yeah, the, it was the, the same um, videos. But the problem that we had, and I think a lot of other people have, is like there's two people in it, two people, and you like we get along like a house on fire. Me and Michiko, like we're so compatible, it's fucking yeah. sick. But when you work together full time, you just got like, she's like, the video is too long. And I'm like, it's not long enough. And then like that thumbnail shit, that thumbnail is good. Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to go do my own thing. You keep doing your Instagram. I'm going to do this. And she was like, <clears throat> she's like, yeah, let's do it. So I just Wicked. did my own. And she's behind you. Like yeah, 100%. 100% bro. Does she help you with field days and stuff like that? As far yeah, as. Yeah, it wouldn't be the channel. If it wouldn't be wow. the channel without her, mate, she's the full background. She's hold, holds up the fort basically. That's in the crazy, background. isn't it? But no yeah. one sees it, man. She works flat stick, bro. Yeah. She's full on. Amazing. The power of a just fucking me, good woman behind you, eh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it wouldn't be wouldn't be the channel without her, no. Wow. But it's also, I reckon it might come down to, if you have two different people with two different opinions, it's going to go fucking wishy-washy, isn't it? You know? Yeah, so you're better off just doing it on your own see, and playing it by ear, I guess. Yeah, it's that, like, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, dude, shit. So, I, yeah, we, we dug right in, eh? Like, I, I gave it a good crack, really studied hard before I even started the channel. And that's, yeah, that's, that, that's probably the only reason like the first video I ever put out it's got 5 million views my first ever video yeah <laughs> wow. which you don't usually see that, that that's unicorn shit that really is but uh, fuck dude hey if you've if you've, you've done that work before and people don't know that people don't know that you've spent 3 months fucking grinding listening yeah. researching and that's what a smart fucking bloke would do <laughs> I'm just a dipshit who put fucking, <laughs> uh, fucking <laughs> some fucking tiny videos on there but um, how, how, how about like the learning process of it all uh, as far as you know um editing you know we spoke about like, i've literally got an ice block behind the fucking yeah camera that's killer here. <laughs> but i, I like want that. you 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 told me a wicked story and this is great this is this is why this fucking podcast exists he's huge but he's an everyman he really is an everyman but um you know, how did you go with gear? Obviously, you know, did you have a good laptop at the start? Did you nah. know to have a good fucking laptop? I never knew that, dude. So I'm what I would refer to myself as a peanut brain, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm just, like, course. proper peanut brain. I didn't, I, when I started YouTube, I don't even, I've never sent an email in my life, bro. Yeah. <laughs> now, I had this fucking piece 90% of, sh- of your job, probably. Yeah, it is flat stick now, but I had this laptop, which I just watched surfing videos on when I was in the mines. That's all it was used for. So it was yeah. this shitty laptop, and that's what I started editing videos on. Yeah, right. And what program, thing, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I started with the, the Apple, what, the free one the that comes iMovie on iMovie. Whatever. Yeah, so yeah. that's what we started with, and then once we started getting a bit of traction, that I got Premiere Pro, which I still use now yeah, today. Yeah, excellent. 
Yeah, beauty. But yeah, that laptop was a that laptop was a headache, bros. Yeah, but but you you know it's like when, in a situation like that, what do you do, Matt? Do you do you invest in yourself, you know, to that extent, or do you just sort of play it by ear, get get by with that laptop until you see some traction? I mean, fucking after five million, oh, uh, sorry, whatever that's at now, like a what'd you say it was it like sixty million or something now. That video, the first oh, one? one of the vid- oh, no, the first video, that the first ever video I dropped is at like five or six million views now. <laughs> but we won't, we couldn't even, we won't even monetize when that happened. So we, oh, we're still under our... YouTube would have loved you, Yeah, man. we weren't under our limit of... <laughs> watch of hours and subscribers. That. Yeah, gotcha. So we had the watch hours because of so many views, but we didn't have the thousand subscribers yet. Fuck. That would have been 24 hours later though, surely. Yeah, it was pretty quick, yeah. <laughs> Oh man, unbelievable. And it's crazy to think that it could have gone another way, eh? It could have been... An, you ever put up a video that doesn't go as well as you think it would? Always, but it's, so it's some, sometimes it's it. the videos that you're like, this is a pretty sick one, but it might not go good. And then it's, it just flies, bro. <laughs> and then you get these other ones and you're like, this is going to go so good. And it just sort of cruises. It's yeah. like, what's going on here? Oh, it's so man. unpredictable, man. You don't know what the YouTube's going to push it or not. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I did ask you before, I, I may as well slip this in now. Do, do you, do you uh, like the YouTube platform? No, no, I don't like... Not really, because I can't really be myself. Yeah. So yeah we were having a yarn about this before. Like, yeah. if I could be 100% myself on the channel, oh, bruh, so I'd have, I'd have so many more subscribers, I reckon. Like, the whole thing would be so much bigger if I could be myself, really. Wow. But I just... It, you can't do a lot of things that I would do in my everyday life, you know? Like, I do, we do a lot of shooting, hunting, yeah. make goat jerky, eat goats in the bush, all this sort of stuff. But Which I can't show... I don't want to... people really want to sort of see. Yeah, I know, but it's, at the same day, it's me bread and butter and I can't... I don't want to corrupt the channel. I've got to say... Mm. The other thing is we've got so many kids that are subscribed and, like, of families course. that watch. Yeah. Which I never would have thought, Russ. Like, I never mm. would have thought we've had so many... Like, I get... Pictures of families every night, seven o'clock on a Sunday. They're around the dinner table. There's my video in the background. They'll send us pictures every Sunday. Like it's crazy. And that's what that's you fucking. That's what you're doing it for, though, mm. isn't it? You know. And so I don't want to go out there now and show bloody hacking around on quads and shooting goats and pigs and stuff like that. But we don't shoot it for fun. We eat most of it. But I don't want to show that when there's kids watching. You know. So yeah, I know what you mean. Keep it at that level where I'm at now and just keep doing it. I'm not complaining. It's bloody fun. Yeah, I know what you mean. But do you ever think about doing something like a? Well, fuck, it's very hard, actually, because you'd still need to go through YouTube. Like, um, having, like, a website that you could put all that extra shit on, like... Yeah, I've thought about it, but at the same time, like, a lot of people say, like, do surfing videos and do... Yeah. But that's, like, if I go surfing, that's me time off, you know, because I'm flat stick 24-7. Course, yeah. I've got a camera in my hand. Same yeah. when I'm shooting out with the boys on the farm and that, like, that, that's me time away from the cameras. Yeah. Sort of thing. So it's not... It's pretty relaxing to have not not be doing it. That's, a, that's actually a question I wanted to ask. You know... I, I remember seeing like a month or so ago where you you were on a just a lads trip with the boys, right? How, how have your mates like received all that? You know your success with all that. You know, I I imagine your your fucking immediate crew they'd be like, fuck yeah, dude, let's fucking go. How have they received that? Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Well, that that trip that he's talking about that was dirt hard talk. Oh, and that's yeah. the first trip I've done in three years since the start of the channel. That's the first holiday I've had in three years. Wow. So like I've never taken off a week ever to stop filming to go do that right so like that was the first time ever and that put me behind like crazy for that one week like I was chasing my ass for two weeks three weeks trying to get back on top of videos to get back on top of like a kind of a grind you know but that was the sickest trip mate Super and fun. You, you you enjoyed it, and you know oh, it was the best. To wake up, no cameras, just with the boys yeah, on the tins, it. catching good fish. It was killer. Yeah, not worrying about sort of, you know, I have to do an intro here. Or I have to. Oh, the boys wanted to do it. The boys were. Like, oh, really? Yeah. Dude? yeah. It was Tempting. good. I got Tempting. a mate. I got a mate. Sloney. He gets on. He did the intro. What's yeah. going on, doggies? And he's running around. It was a good laugh. But <laughs> not answer your question, mate. All the boys are fully into it. Oh, they love yep. it. They all childhood mates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, oh, they're all pretty bloody proud. It's all good. Yeah, good. And so they fucking should yeah. be. That's they're, wicked. They're still pretty awkward. And sometimes I take them out and stuff. But if you've never had a camera in front of your face, you've never. Everyone's awkward, eh? Oh, I know. It's and you, hard. you almost feel like a cockhead putting a camera on them. Do you know what I mean? Like, you well, that's why feel... I didn't. That's the main the reason I didn't film that Quabba trip, uh, Dirt Hard Dog trip, is yeah. because there was a crew of boys I met for the first time. Some of them were childhood friends, and I didn't. It, it dampens the mood, eh? I know. I know what you mean. Like they feel like they can't be themselves. And I'm like, don't swear. We've got little grommets watching this. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? A trip with the boys. It's yeah. it's, it's going off. So, yeah. Um, boys are cracking bottles of rum at seven in the morning and shit. So it's, <laughs> yeah, it's hectic, mate. No, it was a oh, good. Man. It was a good week off, but. 
That was the first one I had in three years, eh? Far out. And they, they reckon, you know, like a, a lot of people, I know a lot of people would look from the outside and think, oh, you got the best fucking life. It's like, yeah, yeah, 100%, but you don't understand the work that goes into that. Yeah, you know, oh, it's I just look sacrifice, forward to talking. Hey, it's sacrifices that oh, you've got to make are huge, man. The fact that you've taken a holiday for yourself after three years. Three years is a fucking long time, dude. Whereas... And YouTube would take up a lot of your brain because it's your job, it's your passion, it's your love. Mm. Like where you're, you're always thinking, aren't you? Like, oh, I've got to release that. I've got to edit that. I've got to fucking... Oh, it's flat stick, mate. You like know, it's full. Every second I'm thinking, I wake up, I'm on my laptop trying to sort shit out, go to bed, you're still there doing other things. Yeah. There's so much. It's a big engine, eh? Everything in the background, no one sees. I know, it. man. No I know. Sees. And I, I really want to uh, deep dive into <clears> that. But you were literally saying to me not long ago that... And you've got to also understand if you're listening... Uh, I'll, I'll dig into this a lot deeper that this is a fucking one man band uh, sorry let's say two you and your partner but mm. it's a one man operation so if you're getting messages back from Matt it's Matt it's not a fucking another company or a management team or something like that it's it's him you were literally saying dude that you uh, you feel a bit of guilt about sometimes not answering people oh I feel horrible bro oh man it's, that, that's crazy though it's impossible to do that with your fucking audience. No, nah, it is. It's very hard, but I, I try my hardest. So if anyone's out there listening and I have it. not replied, I probably will in the future, but I, I try my hardest, though, but it's it's hard, man. Oh, no, I understand. Even just to get to the time to reply. Like, I try to do 20 messages at dinner or something and I'll reply to people, but you know, 20's bugger all compared to what the crew that are shout out. So it's pretty hard. Yeah, yeah, 100%. <clears throat> man look i um amazing how quick fucking 25 minutes goes they do yeah already <laughs> yeah, dude. oh you haven't even had a sip i've been, uh-huh. I've, no, I've been keeping done. you talking oh good man awesome um i'll, I'll check these dude and i'll um i'll, I'll start it again oh, gee. Um, don't worry about that listen to this crew <laughs> hey. it's a big, boy huh? big shout out to shelter <laughs> couple of tins <laughs> all right man so um Shit, I'm trying to order this in a way where it flows well, but I don't, I don't give a fuck at this point. It's just trying to have a good yarn to you um, about it all. But um, your inspiration. Uh, who do you take inspiration from for the channel or for your life? Or is there someone special that gives you a bit of inspiration as far as YouTube goes or maybe saying before? Yeah, I think it'd have to be when I was... When I was younger, when I come home, the old man just used to watch Bush Tucker Man, Les Higgins, mm. and um, good old Malcolm Douglas, eh? So that was probably, they're probably two why I started filming what I do. Because I've been doing what I do forever. Like, before I started YouTube, I don't do it because of YouTube. I've done nah. this shit forever, you know? Yeah. Like, so, um, yeah, well, I was watching their videos once when I was in, we are in Morocco, right? And I was, we were working, this is way before YouTube before I started the channel, but we're in Morocco, we were sick as dogs and we had no money, man. Like we've never really had any coin. We've always traveled and not really, not worried about having any coin. Yeah. We're in Morocco, me and my chick were sick as dogs and I'm laying, that's when we were doing our Together channel. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. And we were sick as dogs, like proper sick in this little thing and I'm just laying on the ground watching Les Higgins and Malcolm Douglas and I'm going, I want to go home, I'm starting YouTube. Yeah, that's probably the one, sick. that's probably where I had this little click in my head and I'm like, I'm doing this because I was watching them, you know, like... Old Les is washing his fucking undies in an old jam jar and yeah. shit. And I was like, this is too good. I'm going home. <laughs> Love watching um, Malcolm Douglas with the big flower fucking buckets. Big like paint tins yeah, full good of flour. Yeah. Right? Just fucking not, not in a mouth. Just fucking pull that on there and he talks through it. And, so good. He just oh. rips Barry into his boat. Yeah. Going everywhere. <laughs> so good. The old, old Caltex fucking. Yeah, yeah. Full sponsored <laughs> 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 and Bundy getting fucking bogged in the mud how good yeah nah they're, they're both probably the reason I started eh really wow dude mm. in- incredible and I may as well tie this one in as well you, uh, do you watch YouTube never yeah that's probably why <laughs> you're so fucking cre- pure I get dude. this question a lot but no I don't eh? no I don't I don't watch TV yeah. I don't watch if I find myself scrolling on the phone I'm, I, get, I, I've, I put it down I do I hate it eh yeah good what you're fucking depressed because everything's fucking Oh, I just, I just, I'm just so busy with everything going on, and yeah. I don't know. Like, I don't, if I watch YouTube, it's to learn something, how to fix something on the boat engine or something <laughs> like you know. But I never will watch YouTube as YouTube, like never. Yeah, very rarely. Oh, eh? far out, dude! Incredible. Um, I this is a random question. My, my wife wanted to put this in actually. Here we go. How are your goats, man? Bowie and fucking amazing, brother. What made you want to get goats? Well, I didn't. I just found him. 
I was, I was out filming. I started a video and I can hear that little meh in the background. <laughs> yeah. So I went for a quick walk and I found him. He was a day old. The vet said he was a day old when I found him. Fucked. Sitting under a tree. He would have died. Oh, I don't, I don't want pets, man. I want the ultimate freedom. Like yeah, I've never, that's I, it. I would love a dog. I know what you mean. Yeah, you can leave the goats and they'll be, they'll be fucking self-sufficient. Well, not really. Like we're, we're just going to start traveling this year. Or this year coming. Really? Yeah, no. So we're going to get back in the car and do a big, maybe a lap of Oz or park up and fly interstate and shit, right? But... We got the goats, man. They need they need pellets. They need all this kind of stuff, and um, sort of holds you down a bit. But mate, they're the best animals. Yeah, absolutely Just amazing. Eh? They're so sick, bro. <laughs> they're the best. So we got Bowie and Bob. They're what are they? Seven months old now. Yeah, fuck wow. And mm. grown grown like shit too. Yeah, right? they grow quick. Eh? We feed them like crazy, bro. Yeah. So are you um you know you got chooks and that? Are you yeah. using? All, do you buy eggs? And, on it, this is a random question, but are you trying to live like a bit self sufficient, or is that the goal, man? Or we just like my chick is, is super healthy, right? She just doesn't drink alcohol. Yep. She eats pure, very clean. So the reason why we got chickens is because she just wanted the the eggs. We love yeah. eggs, man. We eat eggs flat out. And are you taking a leaf <clears throat> from her book? And yeah, I've always eat, I've always eaten pretty healthy. Yeah, yeah like I can feel a massive difference, man. If I go out with the boys and we're doing something and they're they're all stuffing their face with pies Snaggers. and <laughs> chicken cheese sausages at the server, like I feel oh. like shit, man. Yeah, yeah, okay, gotcha. But I I usually eat pretty healthy though. Like I like eat fish and. Steak well, and we you fucking do. You live off it, don't you? It's well, yeah, like, you know, we're always eating the goat meat and stuff like that yeah. when we go out bush. So it's pretty, yeah, we both eat healthy, but I can feel the benefits from it for sure. Wow, dude, just energy. Yeah, just waking up in the morning feeling good, like yeah, coming back, and, yeah, eating shit food, you don't feel no good. Yeah, mm. fuck. All right, interesting. Now, I've just written down lap of Oz, dude. So, uh, I, <laughs> fucking first thing that stuck to my head, a boat. What are you going to do? <laughs> yeah, tinny for sure. Rooftop? Nah, trip to hold. Just tow, I, want to tow, take, yep. I, I wouldn't take anything a lot smaller than a 4.2A. Eh? Yeah, interesting. Your 42 has got gunnels. It's, it, how do you find that with ocean shit? Uh, Weapons. Nice that's, why I, that's why I wouldn't take anything smaller than a 4.2 yep. because that boat that I got now, 4.2, it's a Stesco 4.2. Yeah. Mate, we go out fishing wide on that thing and it's I feel safe as all buggery. Eh? We've yeah, got a 30 yammy on the back, yep. four stroke, and yep. that thing's a dream boat, man. Fucking yammies, man. Oh. I started that the other day. I just did a video up in Onslow, fishing video up there. First time it's been started in a year. I didn't even pre-start it, nothing. I just took it up. Yes. First pop, boom. Oh, fucking beautiful. Jeez. Beautiful little engines, eh, those little yams? Yeah, they are. Fucking quiet, too. They sound good, too, when they're, they're at fucking revs, too. Yeah, it goes hard, <laughs> man, eh? You usually can't hear it over your voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, pretty, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty loud, eh? <laughs> nah, I get this all the time. Like, when I was a kid, all my me, all me mates' mums, they're like, I can, we can fucking see you, hear you before we can see you. I'm, I've always been, like, super loud. I get that from me old girl, but she's crazy. <laughs> yeah? yeah? Oh, shit. And it's her birthday soon, isn't it? It is, mate. That's why I'm down here. Oh, fucking excellent. Um... Matt's actually said to me, guys, that, um, like, <laughs> you're sick of Perth already. Oh, I, can't <laughs> I, fucking, stand it, I hate Perth, just wants to get out, likes that, uh, what do you, what would you call it, like, solitude, being, you know, being alone with your little unit there, you just know what I mean? Just being away from people, mate, eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I understand, man. I, I, really I, I could seriously sit in the bush <coughs> for months on end by yep. myself. Like, I could just sit there for months by myself. If I didn't have to come home to my chick, I'd, I'd stay out there. That's a fucking different type of person, that, eh? Have you learned that you need to fucking separate downtime and stuff? Like, you make sure that you have downtime for yourself? I don't think I get downtime, eh? Re- oh, yeah, we do, but it's... It, man, I used to surf. So surfing's like my number one thing. Like, oh, fucking like, therapy. Like, it's yep. just me... If I had a choice to do anything, it'd be go surf, and then it'd be fish, and then it'd be outdoors doing mm-hmm. what I do, right? But I haven't surfed in, since I started YouTube properly. Okay, and so you I, miss, you obviously miss it. Oh, like crazy, bro. Yeah, but okay. you got to make sacrifices. You know what I mean? Like, what do you do? You want to work in the mines, or you want to do YouTube and not surf as much? I still surf a bit, but yeah. not as much as I used to. I used to surf flat stick. Yeah, gotcha. But it's like anything. You got to make You're building a, something, a man. You're sacrifices building something for something big. bigger and better. But um, yeah, man. I, what was the question again? The down. <laughs> sorry, dude. No, I'm not. I, I've got this fucking bad habit of asking like mixed questions, but it's like downtime for yourself. What do you actually... Well, then, if it's not surfing, what do you do now, dude, to reflect and get yeah, away if from If I have time for myself, it's just out in the bush, with, you know, I'll be, able to, I'll be doing what I'm doing on the videos, just don't film. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Well, that's what I do anyway in my free time. Like, if I'm not... If I go, if the surf's good, I'll be surfing first thing. That's the first thing I'll do, but it's yep. pretty rare to get the surf good when you've got time off. Yeah, Because it's such a demanding beast, this YouTube thing, eh? So, like, oh, man. usually we're out, usually the most nights, not most nights, but when we get a chance, I'll be on the farm shooting, shooting or yep. that's where I can sort of let my hair down. Yep. Even just walking around my property, man, just looking. I've got all the veggie patches, and we've got the rabbits coming at you, and we just plug them with a 22. <laughs> 
That's yeah. You know, even just doing that for an <laughs> hour just, like re- nothing, no. just <laughs> resets my brain. Yeah, good. And then I use all those rabbits for fertilizer, and I dig them under all the trees, and we're laughing. Bro. Yeah. Six months yeah. later, those trees are pumping. Yeah. See, the fucking crazy thing is, I never thought I'd get into. You know, I got a lemon tree and fucking hedges and stuff like that, and I never thought I'd get into that shit. Neither did I, it's bro. It's fucking but amazing. I live for it, eh? Yeah, same. It's, it's so like sick. They demand your time as well. You need yeah. to water them. <laughs> I love it, eh? I run re all around the block. We're yeah. doing flat stick doing it. I love it. Oh, fuck. You know all that shit being a plumber, right? Mm. Fuck. Leaks everywhere. Yeah, get, yeah I've got to get you to check out a solenoid at the night. <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> I don't even I don't even get plumbers to do I get plumbers to do work on my house. Yeah, yeah so you fucking should though. I had a leak in toilet the other day and my chick's like, just fix it. And we had a shit hot water hot water unit had to get repaired. I was like, bruh, fix that toilet while you're here, eh? Yeah, I'm over that shit. Now. I'm not yeah. doing that, bruh. Past that, that's he, it. He goes, because yeah. we're having a yarn, he goes, aren't you a plumber? I was like, yeah, but I'm not doing it. I'm a YouTuber <laughs> now, bro. Who <laughs> up online? <laughs> No, nah, I'm not touching tools. Yeah, no, nah, good on nah, you. No, I do. I, lo- I love work. I, like, we're building a pad. I build heaps of shit at home. I love getting. Yeah, on seen tools. that. I, I wanted to ask you about that in the in mm. the um the uh, what do you call it? the fucking office chair? Yeah, I was just the... rolling around with a nail gun and a drop saw and yeah. making making. I love it. It's good. I how love did you do that, man? So how did you learn? Do you know all them skills <laughs> being a tradie or? Uh, I don't know. You know? Just seems, it just comes to me easy. Eh? Like yeah. we built the chicken coop. The chicken coop's bomber. But I don't yeah. know. It's just I suppose it was being, <laughs> being in the trade game since I was young. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Because my old man's a chippy by trades. We're always that, yeah. yeah. He's a chippy, so he's, he's incredible. His hands. Yeah, okay. he runs circles around the young fellows at work. Yeah, yeah. It's That's what the young fellows tell me. Is he still a chippy now? Like still working in the chippy? Yeah, now? yeah. He's still going hard. When you say chippy, roof chippy or oh, he, he does like heaps of shit now. He does like um. Or uh, just heaps of different shit, mate. Yeah, like decking, scooting. Yeah, all that. everything. Yep. Doing kitchens every now and then for goalers, all yep. that sort of stuff. Ah, yeah. oh, fucking magic. Yeah, okay. So th- this this one here. So um, mentally, dude, uh, have you have you ever have you ever copped burnout, man? You ever felt burnout before, or and how did you deal with it? Yeah, a few times, eh? But I've probably got an unconventional way of dealing with it. Most people would have a break or something, but because I had that thing where I was like, I've, I'm not going to stop uploading videos ever until I hit a million. That was my thing. Like, I wouldn't. I'd just tell, I'd literally just tell myself, come on, you little bitch, let's keep going. Like, I'd yeah, just tell myself, like, I'd just say to myself, come on, you bitch. Like, you just do not want to do anything now. You just want to, don't want to pick up a camera. Like, sounds like, sounds, sounds a bit poxy for people who don't understand, but fuck, it's a grind, eh? Oh my God. I'd just tell myself, let's go. you're just saying it's a grind, it's not enough. It's not enough to explain the work that goes into mm. it, mate. You know, like, but that's the way I'd go. I've, I've probably been there three times, eh, since YouTube started. Have you really? Yeah, yeah where like, you're like, like no, bro, I'm throw this I, I said to me, Chick, I'm going back to the mines. Fuck this, too hard. Yeah. Mines is a walk in the park, bro. Yeah. Finish gotcha. work at six o'clock every day, have a few tins, go sleep, get up. It's so easy. Yep. Someone else take cares of, takes no, care yeah, of no the responsibilities. Cares. Yeah, there's a lot of like in the business, the back, the business engine in the background. You got to do that. You know, we're up to midnight some nights doing that sort of shit. So, um, yeah, I just push through, man. But yeah. the best thing is when you push through the burnout and you and you, you finish that video and then you pub you, you put it online and again it hits like you know when it's at the one of ten and it's like little fireworks. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and just and it, you're just like yeah, fuck it. You feel real good, are you? Like yeah. yeah, I did it, and then you you're back on top again. Yeah, that's it. Does that? I, I know. I, I'm pretty sure I know the answer to this question. You know that one of ten, how it ranks. Mm. You know, out of your last ten, what, what if it's fucking five or seven? You're just like, whatever the fuck ever. Bro, I literally upload a video and I just shut my laptop and I'll just go to the next video. I don't try to, I don't, fucking awesome. I don't look at any of that stuff. I don't really read the comments too much. Yeah, I was going to say that rolls on as well. Like negative comments, negativity. Oh, when that I, ever when I you, man? started, bro, so I was getting flogged. Yeah, okay. Like when I started, it was just wanna be YBS, eh, you know, like all these crew. Like I speak to Brody a fair bit on, on for Instagram Dude, and that. Yeah. Wow. He's a good, awesome, man. Good, good fella. Fuck, is there ever like a. A collab coming in the future? Nah, I don't want to. I don't really get. In, uh, I don't know. I never spoke about it. Yep. Seen him a few times out filming. Eh? Like I was in the mangroves one day, and I seen him and his brother. I heard him coming in a tinny, <laughs> and then I just hear strata, and then I was like, "Oh, that's fucking old mate." And he yep. comes around. They're looking for crabs, and I was shooting fish with the bow and arrow. So I like camo on. I was like, I would have been ten meters from him. He didn't know I was there. Yeah, wow. Took a picture, and then I bloody sent it to him on Instagram. He goes, "What the fuck, bro? <laughs> Why didn't you come and say hello?" And he, but you could see he was trying to get a crab. Sun was setting. It's stressful. You need to get a crab before. The sun goes down it's hard work you know i was like, i don't want to annoy you and he goes fuck appreciate it brass it was hard going well fuck man i've heard stories of him having drones and shit fly over his house yeah and that, it, i'd shoot that ma- down straight away oh man it makes me <laughs> feel horrible for him you know what i mean but yeah yeah you guys i feel are two different monsters like two different you know you're a lot you're definitely fucking 
you're more of like a hunting solo survival that type of thing that's a big fucking thing on YouTube but mm. do you do you is he any of your inspiration dude or like, like you say you I don't watch don't it watch though YouTube, do you man, man no. like no. I don't I don't watch YouTube so I don't really like even before I never watched any of his stuff really like yeah. I only found out who Mr. Beast was when I had like 500,000 subscribers yeah yeah gotcha and then I realised Mr. Beast is the biggest YouTuber in the world I had no idea man yeah Clever well, that's how it, he's a clever bastard. Yeah, he's, that bloke, he's man. incredible. Now I know who he is, you know. But yeah. No, I don't really. He did the same thing, though, man, as you. Planned it all. Mm. Had a fucking strategy. Sat up late, listening to shit, you know. Talking. I, I, I listened to him on um, Joe Rogan's podcast, dude. Oh, yeah. And you fucking listen to his story. And he's. that's what I love about guys like you and him. Even though they're fucking huge, they still give time to every, every bastard. You know what I mean? Like, mm. they're still the every fucking dude. You know, mm. it's pretty fucking amazing. But getting back to the negativity shit, you've never let it affect you? I think at the very, very start, I used to a little bit, but I was always just like, like, I've never really cared what people said, to yeah. be honest. But now I don't give two fucks, eh? Like, I don't care at all. Yeah. Fuck, it's the best way to be. Like, that, honestly, that I don't... That takes a lot of training, dude. I don't care what people think. I don't care. I don't give a... Like, we were at the boat round the other day, and this fella, I launched my boat, and there's another guy next to us in the lane, and he goes... My mate's standing on the edge of the jetty and he goes, he didn't know he was my mate. I'm up, up at the car. He goes, oh, there's that there's that Kmart Brody, Goss, Brody Moss guy. Oh. And he walked down and my mate goes to me. And then I was like talking to him, his two mates, not the guy who said it. Oh, you get any fish boys? And they were like, oh, I've got a little Julian, a little Baldy. And then, yeah, the rest of the day I was just getting cold, Kmart Brody Moss. It was a good <laughs> laugh. I don't give a fuck, mate, eh? And then we oh, came man. home, we had an 18 kilo Dewey, 17 kilo Dewey and a massive... Um, Oh, we had something else in the esky and I was just laughing. Like, they've got these little pissant fish we come back fully loaded. Yeah, yeah that's it. I don't fucking care what up. people say, mate. Whatever. I'm living my dream. Yeah, I, fu- I fucking love that. Um, and the the awesome thing is, is you, you don't see yourself as competition to that. You just, fuck, there's room for everyone, I guess, eh? Room yeah, for every for sure, to do their fucking thing, but... I'd love if everyone started their own YouTube channel. I tell my mates, I'm like, fucking <laughs> dig in, boys. This is the best thing I've ever done. Yeah. You just got to do that one or two years of just sacrifice. Once you can get through that, you're laughing. Oh yeah, but you're you you're definitely making it sound <laughs> quite, yeah, oh, quite appealing. But fuck, there's some tough times in there. Yeah, isn't but it's it, you like know? anything. You get, if you want to be happy, how bad you, you want it? Yeah, how bad you want it? Yeah. Like I got mates whinging me flat out. I fucking hate concreting. I don't want to do this, and I'm like, they want to start. They want to do it. Yeah. This is like six months ago, and I tell them everything I've done. I'm like, this is all you got to do. Every night at the pub, every night doing the same shit. And I'm yeah. like, you're not going to change, bro. You're going to be a concreter forever. Yeah. Fuck, man. Sometimes I feel that as well. You know, like I'm always doing trips around around where I am. And the tricky the tricky part is for me is always fucking, you know, being a subby, not working. So while I'm away for two weeks, I've also got to earn, you know, have money there. Mm. But that sounds like an excuse. That's also a fucking excuse. You know, I could work longer, make sure I do those trips. But I'm fucking happy where I am. But... It's that it's that killer instinct that you have. Where I'm gonna fucking in, I'm gonna back myself. I'm gonna invest in myself. Um, what are the what are the worst lessons? Like what what are the lessons that you've learned? Uh, you know, surely you fucking told yourself that you need like to block out time for yourself, or you know, e- even the answering comments thing and answering, you know, people's DMs and stuff like that. Fuck, man. Surely that even gets a. a over you as well you know where you're like nah look I've got to fucking put the phone down now I just tell myself like like I've put my phone on a sleep mode so 8 o'clock every night it'll just yep, go to sleep it. mode and I won't I touch it until the morning yeah well and after 8 o'clock it's just me and my chick doing what we do or I'm just again I'm just walking around the yard with a little 22 and that's yep. my time or I'm you know I've got a few <laughs> mates who live just down the road so I'll ride the motorbike down there we'll have a few tins yep. and just chill that's all I need, man. Yeah, like, you know that's what it. I'm little waking pockets. Up, I'm waking up in the morning and going fishing which I love what I love doing anyway so it's yeah. pretty just got that little added thing where you're just going to quickly fucking throw some cameras the on. The thing that's is that like you're doing what you love every day in and out. The thing I don't love is the background work, right? So like emails and all the business side of shit, mm-hmm. which is that's the most demanding. Like it's not the filming videos ain't hard. Yeah. It, yeah is, gotcha. it is, but it's not. But it's the background work that's hard. Yeah, the editing. And like I'm promoting. out bush and my chick's ringing me. We need to sort this out. We need to get this going. Oh, it's, it's, it's hectic. I've got no reception. I'm yeah. trying to set up Starlink. I'm like, yeah. I'm in the back of the car with my laptop trying to email these people. That's where it's yeah. hectic, man. But no one sees any of that sort of stuff, eh? No, nah, 100%. <clears throat> Are you glad you set up, you know how you set the troopy up mm. like a fucking office? How's that? performed like oh it's killer yeah it changes everything and yeah, that's, yeah it's, it's you need so that good, man. you need that don't you dude it's so sick like I, the other day i was just getting pumped by mozzie's sand flies 
in the back of the car, completely locked up, fly wire open, and it was yep. just breeze coming through. I'm doing all the work on the laptop. Yep. It was sick. Fucking beautiful. Jesus. Absolutely awesome. Um, he's like a light-hearted, more of a light-hearted shit. Sorry to fucking keep digging into your brain. That's what we're here for, brother. <laughs> What's been your mentally hardest trip? You, you, the hardest trip that's fucking really played with you. What's something that you remember that <clears throat> you had to overcome something? You, do you know what I mean? Like, I think that probably the hardest thing is that I did a video in Calvary where I walked in with no water, no water, no food. Like I had nothing on me. I had a knife yeah. and a few things. And um, I slept in this cave for two nights or three nights. And the first night, I, for the life of me, I could not get a fire going. You feel, I remember, yeah, I remember seeing that and it fucking tested you, eh? Oh, mate, it? I was about to walk out, but I was dro- I got dropped off by a mate on the side of the road, so I come in from the bush side, you can come in from the main, there's a track that runs down, you can get there by car, but I come in from the road, and I was flogged out, bruss. Yeah, okay. I was trying to start a fire with a stick in me, in me hands, and I could have used a shoelace and made a bow drill, but, like, you go through the comments and people are like, use your shoelaces to make a bow drill, but, like, I wanted to start it with my hands, that's the whole thing. Yeah. So I'm yeah. just saying, man, I had blisters on my finger, I had, like, fully blown blisters, I couldn't start a fire, I was getting pumped by mosquitoes, yeah. I had no water the first night, second night, got a fire going, got a little bit better, but that was a, one video that I'll never forget, I was like, that and sleeping in the cave with the chain moving? Yeah. Mosquitoes are next level, bro. like your knuckles, just you sort of cover up with your shirt and I'm getting eucalyptus branches and rubbing it all over your skin so they don't bite you and stuff, but... I was getting flogged that night. Fucking hell, dude. And were there any times where you're like, nah, fuck this. <laughs> I'm out. But you stuck it through, well, I got, man. I can't go nowhere to go, man. Yeah. Like it was, oh, you said to a mate, no, pick me up at this time. Yeah, I've come back in two or three days whenever the end of that video was, pick me up. Same spot Holy in three fuck, days. Dude. I can walk to, I could, I could have walked to a town, which was probably an hour walk away. Yep. If shit really hit the fan, but yep. no, nah, I don't, I got a little, I got a little GME PLB if yeah. really shit really hits the yep. fan, but Fuck, it's not that bad. You know, I'm next to water and stuff. I wasn't going to die. But yeah. I, that, I, so that's, I think that's actually my escape from reality is doing that kind of shit. I testing, love it, man. Testing yourself, I guess. Like I guess. a lot of people say you slept in your car. Like you said, you know, I'm like, it doesn't bother me what you say. I love it. I actually feel love that feeling, eh? Yeah, gotcha. Like sleeping on the ground with nothing but nothing. And you just wake up in the morning and you're flogged out and your mouth's like a bag of flour and you're like, <laughs> now we're going to get some water today, boy. And you're boiling water and shit. Yeah, See, I love it. Doing that fucking, what do you call that thing where you put the rock in it? <clears throat> yeah, like siphoning, so like filtering the water. Yeah, yeah. Fucking But hell, you can't man. do it any more than three days. I, someone said do a seven day challenge and I tried it and it's just too hard. Seven days you flog, bruh. Oh, I, I, I didn't even I didn't even do it. I, I tried it and I was like, at the end of three days, you fingered. Yeah, I could imagine dehydrated, just the, your, sunburned, the bug bites. Your hands are like red raw, and, yeah. you got, and then you got to do another video next week. Fuck! <clears throat> you can see how fucking cavemen did it. How the fuck? Oh, they're mad. You dogs. know what I mean? <laughs> they straight, right. straight up, they're just fucking lords, eh? Like I don't know how they did that shit. No, no. Um, and this rolls on nicely. Planning. Do you plan much of your shit? Obviously, you know, getting dropped off, and then pick me up in three days. Again, that takes fucking kahunas. That takes balls. It's like, okay, three days, I've literally got my backpack, cameras, a little bit of water. I don't even think you had water, did you? You made a no, spear? No, not, not on that or one. Or a fishing rod. Could have been a fucking fishing no, rod. No, no, this made. is the one where I took a little bit of fishing line and I made a, I made like a fishing pole with a where rock on the bottom and it whips yeah. and catches yep. the fish. Yeah, I didn't take any water That's there. That's a mint video, that. That was something different, you know? So, but you put the effort in and you put yourself through shit. That video's got 10, 12 million views. Like, yeah. those videos go good because you put the effort in. Yeah, of course. Because no other prick wants to do that. But it's the hard, it's hard. <laughs> they want to watch someone suffer. Oh, mate, if you do anything that you suffer, you'll get views. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. That's like you could just put up YouTube videos, you're crying, crying in a corner, it'll get views. Yeah, yeah. Smiling in the other corner, you'll get none. It's weird, yeah. eh? That's it. You're going to have that fucking, that in your thumbnail. Mm. You going like that in your uh. thumbnail. Yeah, that's it, dude. What went wrong? <laughs> fucking Jesus. Yeah, wow. So can, can we dig into that um, where the ladder was clanging? Mm. What are your thoughts on that? Do you think it was the wind? Like, I, I've always no, wanted to ask you this. It can't be the wind. Because it, I can't. It's too deep down. It can't be the wind. That ladder, that ladder's heavy, bro. It's like proper thick chain. Fuck. I'm not going to. There goes my sleep tonight. It couldn't have been the wind. Some people said a fox, but the fox ain't going down a ladder, man. No. I, don't, I have no idea. Because I was no at way. the back, and then the, that cave went around to the right, and I was sleeping on the, that right hand side. I don't know what it was. It yeah, could have been. How did you know about the cave? Could have been possums or something. One of the crew in Xmouth told me about it. Wow, well, dude. And told you where it was. Well, it, was you a, to... it was a mission to find it. But yeah, they told me say, it was yeah. on top of a ledge, a ridge, and you got to walk that way. I found yeah. it eventually. It took a long walk. That, that walk, you know, it was pretty cooked. 
Yeah. Do you have to prepare yourself mentally for shit like that nah. or not? See, I, like, I You're love that like, shit. Well, let's go. Well, I love it. Like, it's exciting. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm excited. I get out of the car and I'm like, it's about two hours that way. And I'll just start walking. Like, I love it. It's sick. You win the bush yeah. and you're just frothing out. I love it. It's sick. That makes me, if I want to hop out and I know that I'm going to be there for three days with no help, that's fucking someone like me. I'm happy to admit it. Like, I'll shit myself. Fucking shit myself. I don't know why. I, it doesn't. I don't get scared whatsoever in the bush when I sleep alone. Like the other night, there was that's, this mob. That's wicked. There was man. a mob driving around. Yeah, yeah, dude. Oh, driving not, past yeah. my car, going, "We're gonna get you!" And they're coming right next to my car, and I'm just sitting in me. I, I it just didn't bother me. Like I was like, yeah. I put it on Instagram, eh? Like, yeah, I'm, I'm look at these that. vloggers. It was like two a.m. Yeah. in the morning. And they're driving around. I think that was. I think that was <laughs> shoot, like a baby. Birds, but mm. fucking hell, they would have known. Surely they would have known your fucking car. I don't know. I was up. I was pretty far up north. There's heaps of troopies up there. Mm. Do you, what about safety? Do you think about safety as far as you know something like that happening and they fucking open your door or you know the old rifle or something yeah, I got like a, that I always or? usually got a rifle in the car, bow and arrow in the car. Yeah. But imagine copping one of them. I'm not gonna use that, are you? <laughs> yeah, you would. Hey, I'll grow up in Scarborough, mate. I can hold myself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> punching on at the that's, Scarborough Beach that's Hotel, it, mate. Old Indy bar. <laughs> ah, had some time down there, yeah, but a couple of blues. Oh, far out, dude. All right. I'm looking forward to you finishing that beer so you can try that. That's a fucking beautiful drop, man. It looks I, good, honestly, eh? truly, eh? Conor McGregor. <laughs> Can't get it wrong. Get, you don't get glasses like that out in the bush, mate. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I think they're like craft beer glasses. Yeah, I'm looks, not a craft beer drinker. Looks I know it's pretty good, bud. Yeah, Fuck, I reckon shit's about to get real, eh? We're getting on the, we're getting on the real turf. Clothes now. are going to disappear. I'm going to run down the road <laughs> naked again, mate. <laughs> fucking look at <yeah. laughs> it. So, Matty, um,. I wanted to see what you thought of, uh, obviously, lately you've had uh, treatment on your ankle, dude. How mm. has that rolled in with you content creating? Has how, how have you gone with that, man? Oh, it's cooked me. Your fucking job requires you to be moving, you know. Mm. How, how have you gone? I just fucking like everything I do, I just push through, mate. Mm. Like I'd film videos, especially with mud crabbing, shooting, shooting bow and arrow in the mangroves. Yep. After doing that for a day, my foot's like a balloon, bros. I was oh, sitting in the wow. back of the troopy, doing the, what I got to do on the laptop, like exporting files to the uh, hard yep. drives and that, and my foot's just iced up, ready to go for the next day. Like, it was fucking painful. Yeah, right. But I'm so, just, can you tell us what you had done? <clears throat> so, I got like, it's got an NT joint. I can't even say the words. They're like 50 letters yeah. long. Eh? It's like yeah. a material, material joint or some mm-hmm. shit, but it's, too, it's a major joint in your foot, eh? I did it, fuck, seven years ago surfing. I cooked it doing that surfing, but it wasn't too bad. Like, I was just, it was all right. And then filming a video up near, just out of Cow Barry there, and I jumped out of a tree, and I just hit this tennis ball rock, tennis ball size rock, man. It just it just smashed the bones together, and ever since that day, I was done for, eh? Yeah, okay, gotcha. Um, so basically what I got in my ankle is just like severe arthritis. Like, the guy's like, you got arthritis like a 90-year-old man or whatever. Oh, shit, okay. And he goes... He, he's like, how the fuck are you doing your videos? Like, how are you even able to walk around? And I'm like, it hurts, bro. And he goes, no shit, it hurts. He's like, you've got, like, it's bone just, it's just on bone, bone on bone, just rubbing hard. Mm. So um, I went to three different doctors. They all said, you just got to put a bolt through it and solder it. But the problem with soldering it, because I'm young and active, what happens is all the other adjacent bones all around your foot start wearing out. Oh, right. So they're Trying like... Trying to overcompensate. Yeah, they compensate because that's locked now. So my foot's not going to be able to swivel in one direction, right? So, mm, so I'll be walking around like a big no, crab. Lock, locked if. Yeah, I'll be like a little <laughs> pirate, bruss. That would be mint. That'd be mint. Yeah, imagine say. that. So yeah. He's, yeah, so they said to me, I was like, well, what do you do then? He goes, we just solder the rest of the joints up. And I'm like, what What sort yeah. of what sort of outcome is that? And they go, well, that's that's how we do it, mate. And then I'm like, that's a shit show. I'm not doing that. Yeah. So that's three doctors in the Western medicine all said that. I was like, fucking stick it up, yeah. I'm going somewhere mm. else. Looked into stem cells, heard good things about it. Got it stem done. Stem cells, wow. Yeah, went over to Europe, got stem cells put into my ankle. And um, they said it won't fix it, but they get, so I'm going to need that surgery at some point unless they bring out some miraculous injection yeah. that does like cartilage. You've got no cartilage on those two joints. Shit. So, um, yeah, stem cells, I'm still I've got another, what is it now? I've got another four, th- three weeks until it should start working. Oh, but um, that'll be interesting, huh? I can feel a difference, eh? Already, can you really? Yeah, yeah. feels okay. pretty good. How long will that last? Do you know? Or? He said some people last a year, some people last six. Oh shit! Okay. But he goes, if it only lasts a year, just come back. We'll do it again. I bet it's expensive. I'm guessing. Yeah, you look probably twenty grand. Holy shit! Each treatment. Oh, that's the whole. That was my whole thing. So there's different stem cells, right? You can go into like chambers, and it goes all over your body. But I had it directly into this joint. So they drill a hole in your hip. Yeah. 
they suck out the bone marrow, the deep plasma out of your hip, and then they'll inject it into your, the, the joint. And um, you just got to take it easy. So I'm in that stage where we're taking it mm. easy. And for me to take it easy, brass, it's the hardest thing ever. Like my yeah. chick's like, just sit down. And yeah. I'm like out in the garden and fuck doing, doing what doing, I do at home. <laughs> yeah, like it's so, I can't sit down, man. Yeah. Fuck. Like I literally can't sit. She's like, watch a movie. And I can't watch movies. I, I, I can't watch movies. I physically yeah. can't sit on the couch. So I'm just like, what do you want me to do? So then mm. I, got an, I got a moon boot from when I broke my other foot. Yeah. So she's like, put your moon boot on. So I just walk around with the moon boot on and it just keeps me ankle locked up, which is yeah, good. Yeah, beautiful. Save it from fucking doing yeah, that. Yeah, so I'm out there just cleaning cleaning the house up and shooting yep. bunnies and shit. What about content, dude? Has um, it affected you that nah, way? No, I, I, I had to go back and re-edit heaps of old videos, which I fucking didn't want to do, but I had no Ooh, choice. I've loved that though, man. Honestly, it's been great to because you have to go back a fucking long way. Mm. especially the amount of videos you put out to search that shit again I've loved watching all of them again because there's really a lot of, a lot of shit doesn't make the cut right yeah, so like and I tried that's what to I put like. in all that stuff that no one ever seen I put bloopers at the end and stuff but I didn't want to do it like it's a little bit of like a cheapskate thing but you can't just go you can't go six months and not put the algorithm will forget who you are and you'll just yeah. start from the bottom again like you've got to keep that you got to upload every week it's a horrible beast in that way isn't mm. it but then it's also beautiful um Looking to see that you got people that'll stick with you no matter no matter oh, bro, the, what you do, dude. They the will field, fucking support you. The field day community, no shit, is more loving than any of my family or friends. It's oh, off its head, bro. So fucking awesome, dude. Like I think I think I've had two of my best mates message me out of the blue and be like, "How's your foot going? Are you right?" I would have had two, three hundred, four hundred people message me from the YouTube, Instagram, saying, "Bros, just checking in. If you need anything, I'm here." They're sending me packages in the mail. Like what's off its head, bro. That that's. That's when you know you've built something that's bigger than you. Oh, like, beautiful, it's man. fucking like, helping that's, people, That's man. why I try to reply to everyone if I see someone in the cho- shops. Man, I'll just stop and have a half an hour yarn. Even if I've got to be somewhere, I'll just have a yarn. <laughs> you know, we take photos. Wait. Yeah, like, it, it's, you know, they're, they're everything to me. It's literally like a family to me. Fuck, dude. So, like, that's amazing, man. You should be so proud of that, too. Oh, right? I am, bro. I, I love it. Hey, it's sick. Like, don't message me. You're right, bro. So, like, I'm like, see me, man. Like, why don't you message me? Your dog. You know, yeah. when I go see him for a beer or whatever. <laughs> Well, we know you're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're nah, t- but it's, you're tough bastard. It's it's incredible, mate. The field day fam is what I call them. They're beautiful people. Like sick, love it. So let me ask you this, right? So how come have you? Well, how come I've never seen you at like a full drive show or a camping show or a boat show? You, you, I bet you any money you've been asked for that stuff. Yeah, shit loads every year. Just not interested. Just you're just doing your thing. You're focused or. I'm interested, but it just takes me away from doing what I'm doing. Like it just, yeah, of course, man. You're it, losing time. It takes me, a, you know, it's a day to go down to Perth, set up my stand, and then fuck around. It, 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 it's, it's a whole weekend. It's four days, realistically. Yeah, isn't so it? that's yeah. I, I could put a video up, and the return I get on a video is triple, five times, ten times what a yep. full drive show will give me or a boat show will give me. So there's yeah. no point. Fuck. Again, it's looking at it as a business. Like I look at this YouTube thing as a business, right? So like that's how I look at it. It's just, yeah, of course. I'm, I'm fully business minded. Like that's it's a just way how I to fund a, a lifestyle that you dream of, man. You know, but like me and my chick just want to live a life where we can just just have absolute ultimate freedom. That's fucking. Oh, and we're not there. So we're not there good. yet because you still got to wake up and you still got to do YouTube videos. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we're not there yet, but we're getting closer and closer. But you still got to get up. You got to do shit. It's a flat out job. But eventually, I'd love to be at that point where I can just sort of pull back a bit. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. <clears throat> um, oh, um, do you get a, do you get a thrill out of it, man? Do you get you know you're you're obviously working a lot harder than you did in any other job you've ever had, but mm. you you obviously you froth this shit, right? No, no worries, just fucking kick the. Well, who the fuck in, puts mate. a printer on the fucking right <laughs> under me feet? I oh, know, dude. Silly little exactly. paper trays right there, bros. <laughs> Only if the paper could say this, a. Eh? <laughs> Fuck, it's a cowboy setup. It truly oh, I is. I like it. It's good, mate. <laughs> you want to see when I started YouTube, bro? So I was on a ladder. Oh, it's fucking awesome, man. Um, uh, so he, he, here's another thing I wanted to put towards you. It's quite deep. Like, do, do you fucking read into the introvert and extrovert shit at all? What do you think you are? Do you know what you are? Or both? Yeah. I know what you mean. Like, I could walk into a room and speak to everybody in the room and just have the fully blown confidence of just, I can have a yarn with anyone. Mm-hmm. And then I can also, I also absolutely froth being alone, man. Like I could be yeah. in the bush, I could be in the bush for six months and not even worry about talking to anyone. Yeah, wow. Well, fuck. Like I love being alone with myself. It's amazing. I love it. Yeah. Okay. That, 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 me. So do you reckon though with uh, interacting with people like something like a fucking boat show or something like that, it would drain your battery? 
No, it'd pump me up. For oh sure. fuck! Wow. Okay. Like you I'm ex- like ex- coming like coming here. I'm excited to have you. I wasn't nervous to come in and have you on with you. Like you know what I mean? Like I was shitting my fucking <clears> pants, <throat> mate. I really was. No, I'm just it's just having a yarn with another bloke. You know what I mean? It's it's, yeah. it's for me. It's um. I reckon if I went to a four drive show, I'd froth it. Yeah, I'd enjoy wow. it. I really would. Like yeah. meeting all the you know the field day fam would come down and say good day. Fucking and crowd you'd pull in, dude, is insane. I'd love it. I Have would, you ever I'd, been asked by the full drive show? Yeah, all, every year. Yeah, yeah. okay. Gotcha. But it's just to I just physically can't do it. Like I'd have to miss two, you know, a week yeah, of uploads or something. Know. But I keep telling myself, even though that I've done all I ever want to do is hit a million subscribers. I don't want any more. Yeah. Like anything over the millions, <laughs> just that it, it was just starting to work towards. Because if you got nothing to work towards, it's sort of like what are you working for? So that's all I wanted, bros, was a mule. And then oh, once man. I hit it, now I'm just sort of like, I just want to keep that Sunday upload going and then hopefully... Keep that momentum, just like... Yeah, just cruise yeah. now, man. I just want to like sort of pull back, not pull yeah, back. Have you pulled back a little bit, you think? <clears throat> yeah, like I'm out... Learn not I'm, to stress as much? It's definitely easier now where we've got a house and I've got someone to come back. Like at, when, we, when we were living out of the troopy full time, bros, we were just... You should have seen the state of the joint. Yeah, we had yeah. shit everywhere. You go mud, <laughs> you go mud crabbing and everything is just mud, covered in yeah. mud. <laughs> cameras the bed like i'd go to bed like mac 10 will be sleeping next to me and i'm just covered in mud like i just can't even have a shower because you're getting eaten by sand flies yeah that's can't, you can't go for, don't see you can't again, go for a swim because there's crocs in the river and shit so it's like you're trying to have a shower and you can feel sand flies just chewing your ass and you're like this is hectic bro i'm just yeah. going to bed fuck it so you're just oh, climbing man. the troopy and she's like you stay over there you dirty dog do you <laughs> that's what it's like yeah, hey? yeah. do you find you speak to Matt 10 about a lot of that stuff like do, like reflecting I know I spoke to you about this a lot when do you sit back and say holy fuck look at what I've built like not not to be a, a, a big head about it but also be fucking proud like dude I've worked for this look at what I've built you've built a fucking worldwide community yeah, you it know, happens, all, it happens all the time, stuff. man. Yeah, I don't like. I don't allocate. Good, a, I don't allocate a time for it. It just it, it just happens, man. Like I wake up on a Tuesday morning. <laughs> I'm usually up at 4.35 every day, no matter what. Like, I'm always up early. Body clock, yeah. Yeah, I'm just up early. But I'd go, I usually just walk around, no shoes, through the lawn with a coffee. And I'll just, some days I'll just be like, fuck, this is good, eh? Yeah, I could be at work. I could be at the hot mm. mine side or something like, like that. Like, I always just come back. There's this one day in the trench and I was sitting on a jackhammer for like five days digging this fucking rock. The rock breaker couldn't get down yeah. to it. So we're on jackhammers every day, five days. 11, 10 hour days, we were just in the mines doing that. And I always remember that day. I was like, that's when I was like, fuck this. I'm not that's you. That's your drive. Mm. Wow. And I'd, I always look back at it and I'm like, man, look at me now. I'm just yeah. walking around on a Tuesday morning with a coffee, looking at guava growing. Or, you know, like I'm like, this is killer. <laughs> the fuck happened? It's so sick, man. <laughs> I'm a Go down now. the beach. Like most mornings I'll get up. I'll usually swim at seven o'clock every day. Like I'll run down the beach, get in oh, the water. Way to start the day. Oh, every day I'm in the ocean, mate. Yeah. Every single day, rain, hail, shine, I'll yeah. be in the water. Do you have a fitness routine? I, 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 nah. I I'm used the to last be... person to speak about that, but I'm, I'm interested to know. You look like your adventures obviously keep you fit mm. and, and stuff like that, I guess, eh? No, I think we. I used to, when I was surfing, I was super fit. Never, yeah. like, never been in the gym before enough. And I've got a little yeah. gym at home. I don't use it very often, but we just eat real food. Like, yeah. we eat clean food. From the land, that type of thing. Fish. Like we never will eat anything goat. that's got fucking oil or shit. Like, we eat pretty good. Yeah, we eat heads of goat. <laughs> Everyone's like, why are you, like, why are you eating goat? you got pet goats. I'll eat rabbits, man. I'll go shoot rabbits at home and eat them. Yeah. I yeah, love they're it. They're not getting killed for nothing, though. It's no. For food. It's for. Oh, there's yeah. no shortage of them. Right? They're brass everywhere. <laughs> Come up the driveway. They're like little ping pong balls. They're Sorry, just going buddy. all over the driveway. Yeah, gotcha. They're fucking oh. everywhere, man. Fucking hell. This is a very deep one in between. Very simple answer, maybe. Are you happy, man? Are you are you fuck truly yeah. happy? Yeah, fuck yeah. 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 Ah, fuck. I'm so happy to hear that, man. I've had Especially a lot of people ask me level. that, actually. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, heaps of crew say, are you actually happy, but? And I'm just like, what do you do? I don't look happy. Like, I'm fucking loving it. No, you absolutely look like, I've happy. Always said, I've always said to my chick, like, if it gets too much, I'll just stop because life is so much more important than anything for me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is all, this is why we're doing every, all of this is to live a good life. Yeah, so, like, that's it, man. If this gets too much, I'll stop tomorrow. Fuck. Straight up, bros. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even hesitate. That's, I'll that's just stop. Freedom, right there, though, as well, though, isn't it? You know, that mm. freedom to go. No, nah, I'm fucking. How good's fucking living, but yeah, like when I you're know, out in the man. bush and you're I just know. doing what you want, you got like it's, it's the best thing in the world. Oh, I just find another way there. to do it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Be a bit different. You know, a different fucking cut off the cloth. Like 100%. I'd never go back. I can see. I've seen what I've done now, and I'm like, I'd never go back to that generic work life ever. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I mean, you, um, I'm guessing. Would you have your shit days? Would you have shit days? Yeah, bro. Everyone, has, everyone has a shit day yeah. for sure. But that that ratio to good good to shit is a lot different than it was with uh, five hundred oh, plumbing. Oh, hundred percent, bro. Yeah, 
Ah, fuck. I dude. very rarely have a like. I don't, I, I don't even get angry. Like I don't even never get angry at. Nah, like I got like this is where I'd love to film what I'm actually like because I'm out in the boat and you lose a fish and I'll just lose my shit, but it's in like a fun way. I'm like yeah. screaming, "You're fucking out on yeah, the boat, going nuts!" Like, oh, fuck. but I never get angry. Like cause what I don't. I don't know, I just don't have it in me anymore, right? When I was in the mines, I used to get hell fucking depressed and sit at home and mm-hmm. like, this is shit, my chick was in Indo and stuff, like, but I don't I don't have any of that anymore. Oh, man. It's just, it's, fuck, it's, what we've created is beautiful, man, I love it. Yeah, and you, <laughs> it's fucking unbelievable. And you, I don't, I still don't reckon you understand the reach that you have as far as the world. Like, uh, have you ever, you obviously know where your audience is. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not, it's definitely not, um, I'm trying to talk here so you can have a fucking drink. I'm, I'm looking forward to you having a bit of that proper. Oh, here we go. What have we got here? Proper 12. Proper 12. We, I, and t- please don't fucking be angry. It's Pepsi. I think it's better with Pepsi than it is with Coke, dude. Oh, that is good. Tell me that's not nice. It's, it's, that it's is good. basically Jamison's. <laughs> that's beautiful. Yeah, it's nice, eh? Hey? It is it's good. Re- really nice. I've got I ginger beer I never there drink, too. I never drink fucking sugar drinks like that, so that's even yep. good. Well, oh, it's Pepsi Max? Um, no, I don't drink none of that shit. Okay. Well, the caffeine, you're going to That's why I don't, go to the, night, I don't need to go to the gym, eh? <laughs> hey? We never drink this sort of fucking drink, so, but it's oh, good. Oh, dude, sorry. That's del- no, it's delicious. That's loving it? Don't worry, I'll knock the bottle off, bud. <laughs> Let's go. Hey. Let's go. Fucking awesome. Um, oh, you know how I said before I forgot what we were talking about? Mm. Sorry to bring it back. Edit, ed- editing, editors and mm-hmm. stuff like that, dude. Uh, you said that you were trying some out. Mm. I'd love to know the process between all that. You know, like how? First off, how do you actually get in, in touch with editors? Um, you know, is it who you know and stuff like that? Like, no, it's fucking not who you know, mate. If I fucking sent my videos to who I know, that'd be the biggest shit show videos. <laughs> Just a bunch, of, a bunch of pisshead surf rats. <laughs> <laughs> Bit nah, like tension. You, yeah, yeah. Tension, it'd be, hey, fucking sick, tension though, dude. Tension on that shit, Yes, Yeah, same here, dude. I listen to his podcast. He's got a podcast. Yeah, he's like, got one, yeah. yeah. Um, what we did... Now, what you do is you got a thing called YT Jobs. So it's YouTube Jobs called YTJobs.com. No way, dude. Mm. So you can put on a... You just put on a... I'm looking for an editor and it comes up with your profile. So like field days, 1.6 mil, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, and then you've imagine, got... Dude. You've got... Anything, fucking thumbnail people on there. You've got everyone. And wow, then you, man. you just log in and you've got like, you know, we had like 500 people apply. And they'll say, we'll do a one minute video for free. So you just send all these people little bits of clips, one minute clips. And they bring wow. back, they just all send back shit. And then you can just choose from there. And then who you like, you send a full video. And I'm like, oh, like we were like, we'll pay you for the video to see if you're any good. And that's how we just sort of nailed it down. Wow, and they mm. get, is it like a um, they give you a price and stuff like that? Like yeah, once you figure out who you want to work with, and then like you know, we were with some people are like twelve hundred dollars a video. Some people right. are pretty. Some people are two grand a video. Some people are expensive. Some people weren't. Wow, dude, fucking hell! So that, some people. It's so cool to hear that, Matt. Eh? I never knew about that. Mm, man. Write that's it down, crazy. Russ. Why well, jobs? Oh, you know, I'm writing down time. Time. What time it would save you? Oh fuck me. Yeah, it's and exponential time. Like, yeah. like for me to edit a video, it, it, even like uploading it to a hard drive, then sending because we live up because we live up sort of like semi bush rural area. Yeah, it takes me to because you Dropbox the files to the video. Editor, yeah, right? I was wondering so we've, that only, too. we've only just started doing this sort of stuff, yeah. right? So it takes me two days to get him the video, the files, mm-hmm. because our internet's so shit. And then I'm trying to upload it, and it took me three days. Yeah, got you. And he goes, and that's fucking time you don't. He goes, give me. Yeah, I can't. I can't leave my laptop. I need my laptop bush, but I can't take it because it's plugged into the. Yeah, gotcha. He goes, give it to me, bro. I'll just log on to your thing and I'll do it for you. Seven minutes it took his Wi-Fi to do it. I was like, took me two days, man. He's like, yeah, seven minutes, bro. Wow. So So, different. Do you have Starlink at home? Do you use that at home? Is it? it, What what do you think of Starlink? Yeah, it's good, man. We I've, I haven't really used it properly bush bush yet. Yep. But we set it up at home and it's twice as fast as our home Wi-Fi. It's sick, wow. man. Wow. So you do you use that primarily yeah. now? Oh, we've, we run both in and out. Like if I'm if I go somewhere, I'll pack the, the Starlink up, take it with me because oh, I man. need it. I need it in the bush to do that. Like that, I got a cell booster on the Troopy, which is pretty yep. good. That cell fire, whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, cell fire go thing. How do you find that? Good. You would tell Strid? So I got my chick's got a Prado, so we drive her Prado yeah. around yeah. down to Perth and shit, and we're like listening to whatever, and I'm like. What do you mean there's no fucking Wi-Fi? And I'm like, ah, oh, <laughs> the cell booster gets you Wi-Fi everywhere, uh, internet everywhere, right? Eh? Yeah. So when we're in a Prado, we don't have internet coming through Donga and all that. Yeah, okay. And then oh, between yeah, Lehman and all those spots, yeah, you know, you of just, oh, I have it all the spots. way down there with that little thing. So that's sick. Wow, fucking okay. That's wicked. Like wicked when we go fishing up Quabba when it's winter balloon fishing and that. The boys are just all huddled, huddled around me car. 
Yeah, because I'm the only Checking one. I'm the, I'm the only one with the internet. It's sick. It's good. Hotspot. Fucking hell. Yeah. All right, we're back. The cameras are playing ball so far, which is great. Um. So yeah, sorry, dude. Talking about this editing thing. So sifting through them all. Uh, um. Of course, you're gonna have to put the time in uh, first up to you know, to to gain time for yourself. You have to put the time in, I guess. Um. But what are you looking for in an editor? You're looking for efficiency and obviously to mimic your style as mm. well, you know? Well, I think the good thing was when we did it, we probably had about like 120 editors saying, Brass, oh, I ever- so many fucking people. You put 120 people in a room, dude. That's wild. Yeah, it's, it's massive. But we would have had 120 of them say, well, I already watch your videos. I know your style. Oh, great. Which, is, which was killer. So I'm That's like, good. oh, really? And they're like, yeah, we watch you. This is sick. I really want to work for you. So then... We, or, um, yeah, we took but one. it's two thousand dollars a video. <laughs> yeah, some of them, some of them are two and a half grand a video. Wow, man! Some of them go like a like a by minutes, so like twenty dollars a minute, yeah. ten dollars. And a can minute, you whatever. see that two thousand five hundred dollars worth? Honestly, nah. no. So we we went with a dude who was a thousand, and he 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 did a video which was pretty good. Yep. But it's see my videos. I don't do any effects. I don't do any transitions. I don't do none of that shit because it. Do, I don't like watching that shit myself. Of course. You you want to see action. You want to keep the uh, the viewer glued, I guess. Is no, that, I think it's just like story. Like, it's just, I'm in the bush. There is no fancy shit in the bush. You know yeah, what I mean? Wicked. So I don't need it in the videos where you watch somebody who's a race car driver and they're doing some mad shit around a track. It'd be cool to have a helicopter. Like, effect. Yep, I'm with you. You know what I mean? So yeah, like, I don't want to have that stuff in the videos because it's not it's not what I'm doing anyway. Mm-hmm. I'm only out there with a the GoPro, mate. That's all I'm doing. Yeah. So yeah, we just gotcha. want to keep it like fully OG. So that, yeah, it was... It, the videos are pretty easy to edit, really. It's just cut frames. A little yeah. bit of drone, a little bit of music. Like, anyone could edit it if you teach them. Absolutely. It's just the amount of efficiency, how quick someone can do it, I guess. Eh? Mm. You know what I mean? Do you, do you feel like you've um, you got it down to a, like an art of getting it real d- done real quick? Yeah, like, fully, man. I was, like at, I was at a point where I could just put a video in and I, I'd, so as soon as I'd film, I'd edit. Fuck yeah. So, like, I'd, okay. I'd be mud crabbing all day and then I'd sit in the car for five hours. I'd, about midnight every night, I'd sit in the back of the troopy and edit that video I've just done. So, five hours you could do a video, boom. Six regular. hours it would take me, yeah. That's a, that's that's unreal. That's awesome. So, I'd, I'd spend a whole day catching mud crabs and then I'd sit in the back of the troopy. This is what no well, one sees. Well, it's say. fresh, I guess. This is what it? no one sees. I'm yeah. carving in mud. I've got a tin next to me sometimes. <laughs> I, don't usually, I don't actually usually drink piss when I'm out bush, eh? I usually yeah. just drink soda waters or whatever, you know, little cold yeah. cans of water. I don't usually get on the beers, but... Every now and then I'll have a tin and I'll just sit there and I'll edit the whole video. I'll scrap it together. Wow. And then I'll wake while up. While it's so fresh, I guess, and mm. while you know... Are you sort of building a, a storyline while you're out there, dude? No, I'll just do it as the day goes. You can't do it. It's impossible. Interest. Yeah, of course. You never know what the fuck you're going to do. You don't know what's going to happen, man. I know, like tides change, wind comes in, fucking people will come around. I just everything. I just, yeah. I just go on however the day plans out. You just roll with it. But wow. it's the best, man. Yeah. Like you see some weird shit go on and you're like, this is fucking epic. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, if you, had a, if you had a timeline and a, and a little bit of something to follow, it wouldn't be as good. Uh, in Indonesia, dude, what what pulled you to over there? Like, what, what started your love for Indonesia? Um, what did start me love for Indo? Fuck, man. I think my mum took me there when I was 15 for a holiday, and I just couldn't get it out of my head. Yeah, gotcha. Just everything about it, the people. I think it's the people, eh? just, the, just They're just the happiest. So kind. You know, you surround yourself with good people and you and you feel the same. Like, oh, just everything Fuck. about... Ever since I did that trip with my mum, I was just like, I'm going back. Yep. And then I went back. I started in the mines and I was like, you know, you hear these people doing FIFO from Indo. I was like, I want to give it a crack. Oh, wow. Okay. So I, yep. so I did that. I, did, I went there once and I was just hooked on it, mate. Yeah, wow. Okay. So I, I instantly made like an incredible group of friends, like Indos who lived there. So they lived in they lived in Kuda and these little surf rats and they were just lords, man. So I just left all my shit with them, everything, bro. I left wads of money, I left surfboards, I left fishing rods, spear guns, and it was like my first trip ever. I went back to work and I'm like, the boys at work are like that shit's gonna be gone, bro. Went back, hadn't been touched. Fuck. And it's like I, honest and, as shit. And you I know? just kept doing it and I said like the the main mate main mate was Seb, little surfy dude. Yeah. And then and then I did it again and again and again and then I ended up living with them. Like yeah. paying rent, we've got a bigger villa. I bought them a block. Like, you know, we had a villa together. They lived with me. They Shh. lived in the villa when I was not there, and then we. I did that for a long time, bro. Fuck, it's so great that you're talking about this because it, it's lovely to hear the background of it all. But I remember watching a video where you guys were on those boats. Uh, they uh, w- yeah, like w- a jacu- jacu- we call it a jacu- oh, okay. jacu- over not there. like a catamaran because that's a, yeah, it's like a catamaran. But it's got the side yeah. the outrigger or whatever outriggers where you're racing. 
you're racing each other mm. uh, to the schools of fish. I fucking was sitting there like smiling that whole time. They look like the happiest people. Oh, that's the best. That's you when know. you have that. So that's like a yeah, that's a yellow yellow fin trevally run. Ah, oh, right. Okay. So they have certain seasons when the current pushes around from the top of Indo to the bottom, and they have the fish come through. Yep. Gotcha. And you have football fields, man, of yellow fin trevally just busting the surface, and they were either out there with like ultralight fishing rods just piffing, <laughs> <laughs> and there's lines getting crossed over, and they're like, oh, you come home with fifty fish in the bottom of your boat some days, man. And, and so. What would you do then, though? So, fill it all. You'd have an... Uh, no, they like, sell it straight up. Oh, wow. Mm. Okay, so you give all your fish to them. Yeah, everything I can. Take so a I little give... bit for yourself or... No, oh, yeah, I'd, so it depends. Usually, we'd be pretty stocked up on fish. Like, we'd go GT fishing. If I got one, like, 10 kilo GT, I'd keep it. And then, um, <laughs> yeah, that usually I'd just give it to them to sell. That's their job. Yep. Wow, that's their living. Mm, that's how they make money. So oh, that they fucking love you, wouldn't they? You know what I mean? Mm. Is that like part of the tradition over there? Like look after each other? I think like when you take out like like what you call, like, we're called like bullies over there, like white people who take yeah. them out, it's just they'll charge them through the nose, man, like 600 bucks a day or whatever to go fishing. Yeah. But I got, hey, I, fuck, fair enough. Dude. I got to know the captain's pretty good. So he just, he'd just take me out for the fuel cost. Yep. And then we'd just go fishing all day. And then the deal was everything that we caught, we sold shit wow did you ever go with them to sell it like where would they sell yeah, it markets bro, night markets like, like as soon as you as soon as you come in on the jacung you get it on the beach the fish goes straight into the back of a car wrapped in a tarp no ice nothing yeah and you just, just boost, quickly moved you just boost to a restaurant <laughs> oh wow well, on the way in they're calling the restaurants bros. oh my god you know, like what we've a got, sick experience we've got dude. fucking 50 kilos of GT in the boat do you want it yeah yep. we want it this price sold before you even get to the beach it's sold Wow! And then you just punch to the market, and they've got scales ready already out the front. You hook the fish on the scale, yep. and then you just see the transfer of the money. And Boom! Then and they, they throw it straight on ice, and they'll they'll process yeah, it. Yeah, the restaurant will freeze it and sell it in the next day or whatever they do with it. <laughs> but that's um, what we did every. That's what I did before I started YouTube. That's what I was doing all the time. Oh wow! Going out with them, uh, mm. just helping them. That's it. Yeah, I was just having fun. Yeah, wicked. So I just paid. Like I was, that, I was close with them. All right. So like I'd just go out and we just, I'd pay. For, I'd, they'd never charge me because they were going out yeah. fishing anyway. Yeah. So gotcha. I'm like, bro, I'll pay you fuel, and I'll just come out for the day. And instead of charging me, you know, it'll cost me, I don't know, forty bucks in fuel. <laughs> oh, how fucking good! Like Is it a cheap way of living over there? Yeah, of bro. course. What it depends how you live. Yeah, gotcha. Okay. So my sister and boyfriend lived over there with us. In a in a little dog box villa of things. Yeah, that's where me and Mac Ten we had no money. We were managing, we were managing a resort like a little homestay thing. So we were managing that. We were scraping by. We had that's no so money. Fucking cool, man. That you've never, you know. I love that you're telling me this stuff. It's so good. Yeah, bros. So we've had like we had no money, man. And like my sister and her boyfriend. He was a, a, a he worked over there on the building construction sites as a supervisor. So yeah. he was getting paid pretty good. And they'd go to these like lush places and eat good and shit. Yeah. We'd just eat two dollar meals from the side of the road. <laughs> we had no money, man. Wow. So we'd just eat like two dollar meals, like the full traditional shit. Or I'd go fishing and stuff. Spear yeah. fishing. I used to spearfish a lot back then. So we'd spearfish a lot. So, how's the transition from living like that to uh, living now? It hasn't even changed. No, it, was it right. hasn't uh, even changed, man. Seems like you don't give a fuck about money, really. Money doesn't do anything for me, eh? Hey? Fuck, dude. Like, honestly, like, you can put a, you can put $10 million in your bank account right now, and it wouldn't even change me. And I like remember you've when said, we, dude, it's time. You want, to, you want that time, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm with your loved ones. That's what I'm all about. If you, if I can just wake up in the morning and do what I want when I want, I've made it in life. You know what I mean? Like oh, that's, that's fucking hundred percent, man. One hundred percent. Like um, we got our first payment on YouTube, like a decent one. And yeah. That, it didn't even like rock us. We were just like, sick money. Yeah, yeah. Because we were already living. This the, is fun. We were already like living the dream. You know what I mean? It doesn't money didn't change anything. Do you know? I don't think um, it ever will. Yeah, no, I don't think it ever will either. But it's a it's a great. Um, I mean, you know, I think I, I think you enjoy the fucking process more. Maybe would you say that? Well, that's fucking good. If you don't yeah, know, listen, as we're under dark and stormies right now, mm. and they're pretty bloody good. Yeah, oh, Kirk's Kirk's ginger beer mm, that's and good and proper. As I said, I wish I had lime. I wish we were at your house. You know, I was I was um I was thinking to myself, I would have loved to have come. Up, I would have brought like the laptop mm. and come and like just brought this shit in the car. That'd be cool. Yeah, that, that would have been, been cool. Mad. You know, I've got beautiful little limes. And you could have the there. gun set up. Yeah. Just every now and then, pa. That'd be good, eh? Hold <laughs> oh, on, boys, there's a rabbit there. Boom! Pulls it, pulls it up, pulls it up. Yeah. 
Next time, eh? Yeah, fuck. Oh, man. I'll Come be up so for a visit, mate. I'll be on it. Have a hell time yeah. up there. Get on the motorbikes. Hey, I'll just pour drinks for you fuckers. No mm, worries. I'll be go. a fucking butler. Me little gazebo will be done by then, so we'll just <laughs> see outside. Yeah, wicked, dude. Awesome. Um, So, uh, Matt 10, how did she find herself with, uh, you know, bumping into you? What was her journey? So it was the Instagram thing, she's, obviously. Yeah, she, she's how long from, has she been doing that for, man? She's from Czech Republic, but she doesn't like it. She doesn't. She doesn't fancy it over there, eh? She's okay. just, she's exactly the same as me, bro. She just wants to be free in the ocean, or like kind of like near the bush every day. Not so much bush for her, but ocean every day. Yeah, gotcha. She's just, she loves travel. Like she just doesn't yep. want to be tied down nowhere. She just wants travel flat out. Oh man, when you guys want the same thing, oh, it works it'll out. Like, fucking happen. The man. only thing when we were in Indo, like we had two different lives. Like I was a fucking piss rag back in the day, man. Like any twenty-five year old like kid course, is, hundred right? percent. But she never drank, right? So she was just like we used to fucking every, every now and then punch on because I was out drinking till five in the morning, and then she never would. But now that I'm, I've, pu- I've pulled my head in big yeah, time, eh? like yeah. I'm just like looking at like set myself, set me life to YouTube and that. Yeah, it's the best thing I ever did, man. Stop wow. drinking as much. It's like just work towards something that you love. It's the best thing I've ever done. Like we, don't, we, don't, we haven't argued in like a, two years. No, oh, because you're both driving towards the same thing, Because we've got the thing, same ambitions, but just keep yeah. pushing the same thing. And she's a champion, mate. Like, everything right. we do is, is on the same line, which is epic. Like, if I had a chick that drank piss, I'd be in trouble, I reckon. Yeah, like an ena- enabling you type of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like, know, I've got, mate, I got, I got mates who... Get on the, <laughs> That's what I am doing get, tonight. <laughs> get, on, get on the piss with their chick, and I'm like, fuck, look at you, man. Like, you, like you, yeah. I'll go to there, you know, like, we'll rock up, we'll go, I'm like, let's go... Sh- Diving for craze at six AM, and I get there, and they're just dead. Going over, yeah. <laughs> no, the the door, and I'm like, I'm going. Yeah, fuck. Not worth a day. Best time. You of need the to change. You need to have a little bit. You need to, you know, everybody needs that time in their life where they cut loose and run yeah. amok and do mm. what they do. But you ne- also there needs to be a point where you just pull back and go, fucking, let's go. Yeah, you know shake it mean? up a bit. You know, <clears throat> fucking, what am I doing here? Yeah, evaluate yeah. your life. I guess oh, the best thing I ever did was just pull myself out of that where I was. I it was good. Mm. So. Can I ask you about, uh, without sort of giving too much away, w- w- um, what is a perfect picture in your head uh, where you want it? Like, w- what is a perfect scenario in your head of the perfect life? Probably you bent over a washing machine with a red G-string on. <laughs> oh, pretending that I'm stuck? Yeah. I'll just I'll pretend that I'm stuck. Yeah, I'll come and give it. No. <laughs> call you my stepbrother? I reckon what I'm doing, bro. Yeah, honestly, like Living I wouldn't, it now. I wouldn't change too much. Hey? Yeah, just uh, I, I'm going to guess, like maybe wanting to pull back the littlest bit. Yeah, I'd like maybe to, not. I, what I'd love to do is is have a family and tr- and just do what I'm doing with a family. Just keep filming, doing what I'm doing with a family. But yeah, definitely with a family, man. I think I'm yeah. at a stage now where it'd be sick to do these mud crab missions and fishing and and you know like maybe the survival with a kid, but you know bring the kids and drinks, you know, with a bit so of water and that. Wild, dude. But, and um, teach the skills, teach the skills on to... Yeah, for sure. Like, I think I would... We've spoken about if we ever have kids, I'd be homeschooled and we'd just travel. Like, we wouldn't... We oh, would, really, do? Yeah, fully. Wow. Man, school did nothing for me, man. I was a shit out at school. Yeah. I can't let you meet my wife because my wife's like a big advocate for homeschooling. Oh, yeah. She really wants to do it. But I, I don't know... Um, fuck. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, it's weird. Like how you're like, yep, yeah, no. Nah. Well, be fine I, with I, it. I could 100% man I'm dyslexic as they come like I can't read I can't write very good but it yeah, does, I've never need needed it, it man yeah, exactly fuck well, I do, you do need it but I'm writing emails and shit and I can still get it done you know like it's 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 easy shit mm. that's why um, have you ever have you ever been burnt by a company Matt at all nah because we don't take anyone on yeah <laughs> true true you don't yeah no nah, fuck yeah okay um <laughs> That's a good answer, dude. You yeah, stuck me there, actually. I'll be honest. <laughs> um, okay, he, he's like a quite a heavy one. Mm. If you had to do it all again, would you do it the same? Would you do anything different, honestly? I would do it exactly the same way I did it. But what I would do if I had the, if I had the resources, I would film probably six months worth of videos, and I'd stack them on a hard drive. Yeah, edited, ready to roll, but I wouldn't post none of it. Uh, load them up before you started yeah. the channel. I'd have, you mean? I'd have six months worth of content ready to rock and roll, and then I would, I'd post the first video, and I would just do one one video a week, nothing too crazy, and I would just do it the same. Have a goal, year and a half, million subscribers, and I'd push for that. Interesting, because what that gives you, that gives you so much time, and, yeah, and freedom. Because when I started, I started, I, I I posted a video, and it was just balls to the wall, bros. Like 
I couldn't do nothing. Yeah. Because I had that that goal of one video a week. And like you say, you lo- you you lost a bit of time, you know, uh, missing birthdays, fucking. Oh mate, I missed everything. Mm. Like I, I, I mean, you name it, I missed it for this channel. So what about your family, dude? Do they understand what you're trying to build? Yeah. When you miss that shit, where they're like, "No, nah, no worries, fucking follow your dream." Yeah, well, my family we're close, but we're not close enough to be like, you know, if they if I miss a birthday, they're not going to cry. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, well, my, that I, might be extra close because they they understand well, my what you're fucking amazing, doing. Bro. Like we've got a pretty good family out, yeah. so it's not too much. It's a lot, like a lot of like just simple little things that made me a little bit devo was just going out for beers with the boys. Like I'd never be able to do that, even yeah. in Indo. Yeah. Like the boys would be like down at Sandbar or whatever, having beers in the Arvo, watch or surfing and that, and I'm just like, I can't do it. I got to get up at three a.m. and I got to. If I'd go down there, I'd, I'd have too many beers, you know. That's fucking drive, Jesus Christ! And it, I just wrote down something down like strategy. You obviously had a big strategy coming into this. Mm. Do you still think you have that dry, uh, that fucking fire in your belly now? Yeah, still. Or do you think it's grown now? No, it's grown, but it's not for YouTube anymore. It's for more like it's for different things. Interesting, fucking mm. me. No, no worries. I, I, I won't dig into that, but that's that's wicked. Lots okay. of, lots that of makes ven- me excited. Lots <laughs> of ventures coming. Yeah, wicked. Like okay. I'm, we're putting all of our time into. Ever since I hit a million subscribers, I pulled back from working as hard as I did. But now we're working five times as hard on other adventures. Yeah, that's other it. Other ventures in the. You know, we've got a lot of things coming. And because you were saying before as well, you don't want to rely on YouTube because you don't know where it's going. No one knows where it's going. I mean... Yeah, like if YouTube stopped tomorrow, I'd be fingered, bro. Yeah. You get a fucking... You're, you're diversifying a little bit and making mm. sure that you're trying to set yourself up a little bit. Yeah, that's it. Fuck. Yeah, yeah that's a lot of strategy there as well. Do, do, you, ever, do you ever stress? Do you ever stress about stuff? What What does is, what is Matt from Field Days stress about? Fuck, I very rarely stress, man, eh? Yeah, good on you. I do stress sometimes. If I stress, it's purely because of YouTube. YouTube, man. If I can't get it, if I'm, if it's like a Friday or a Thursday, and I get a video, get a video out by Sunday, I'd be, I'll be stressing. And the fucking hectic thing that I'm trying to bring across in this podcast is that it's not about what I feel like people will assume that it's about. For you, it's about making sure your community has something to watch. It's yeah, not well, about coin, dude. It's, no, it's about, about having nothing, that It's got nothing to do with money, man. It's about not letting them people down. Like I promised myself every Sunday, 7 o'clock, you drop a video for the to, 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 until, it's, until it's over. So that's just what I'm sticking. And it's like melted into my brain, man. Fuck. Jesus Christ, man. So like I'll be, if I can't get a video done by Wednesday, I'm going, everything is on the side now. Like it doesn't yeah. matter what it is. Yeah. I'm fucking yeah. balls to the wall until I get a video done before Sunday because it takes a day to upload it. It takes a day to edit it. Takes another day, to, you know what I mean. So you've got to oh, have. Of course, it. man, I do. Yeah, I do. It's then you got to find wild. pockets in the weather. You got to find. You don't get a fish, and you got to pack up. You go to the next spot, and yep. yeah. But I try. I try my hardest not to miss an upload. Yeah, but it's crazy the impact that maybe that upload, and I, I feel like you might feel that as well. That's where that stress. The that when you say you don't stress about stuff, that's where your stress would come from. Is um, knowing that. You know, you you don't want to let those people down. Mm. You know, the fo- like you say, you get photos from people, from families who are watching, waiting on your shit. They're waiting on it, dude. Oh, bros, if I don't upload a video, which I try not to, but if I don't, I'll receive photos of people like sitting there just going like, where's the video, bros? And I'm like, I'm so sorry, there's no video tonight. And they're generally disappointed. Yeah. Like, they're fully like... What do you mean, bro? Fuck, man, I, I've got to <laughs> like, be honest. Wait, I'm fucking trying. Yeah, no, I, I know. And, and, and it's... Yeah, it's it's a lot to put on to you as a viewer, a hundred percent. But it's it's so easy when that video is sitting there, and I'm a viewer. When that video is sitting there, you're like, oh, fucking me. He's he's on time. Fucking magic. Mm. No worries. As, as like a fucking small time dude, um, I understand how much effort it takes, a hundred percent. But like when you've got that one point five million waiting there to fucking yeah, it's that's hard, wild, man. Like even going to the doctors, having a, like a, just a random doctor's appointment, will completely finger your schedule. Yeah, yeah, of course. Because you, you can't, you don't know what the weather's doing in two weeks or whatever. So you try to get to the doctor, and then <laughs> it's that one day you go to the doctor, it's like a glass off. Yep. The islands is going to be incredible, or the it's a it's a new moon or a full moon, and the fishing's going to be off yep. its head, and you're like, fuck. Oh, and then the doctor's next there, time is skin checked. Yeah, it's hard, man. But you just got to push through, eh? Yeah, hundred percent. Um Fuck, this is so random, Matty. But um, I notice you wear you wear zinc. Yeah, you do zinc a lot. 
Fuck, it sounds so random. I understand yeah, this, Yeah, bring guys, it on. But, I like um, random. I, I get skin checks every year. Being a bricky, I get skin checks every year. Mm. Same date, dude. And I um, I always get told by my the the doctor to always... what, what Who put in your head about skin stuff? Like putting zinc on and shit. Is that from the surfing days? Yeah. I know so that's such like, a random question, no, dude, but I like to bring good, a, it's, awareness it's, it's to it. It's a fair income one because in... In WA, Australia as a whole, you get like the sun's pretty brutal here. Yeah, like, fucking oath, dude. We go yeah, over, to, we go over to Europe out. to go over to my chick from Czech Republic. You go down the park down there, and when it's summer, there's just tits fucking everywhere, and they're just in the Sounds sun. Sounds horrible. There's no, yes, it's great. But yes. They're not wearing sun cream or nothing, and they never do, and they just go brown because it's not yeah. a brutal sun, right? But over here, you don't wear sun cream, you get cooked, man. Yeah. And you take that quite seriously, do you? Like, yeah, fully. is that from your surfing days, though? I think it's just from like. When I was an apprentice plumber, my boss used to... He was forever getting cancer cut out of his hands. Yeah. And his ears and his face. He was just always under the knife, eh? And then... Mm. I don't know. It's just... The sun cooks you, man, eh? It's just brutal. It makes you look old. It makes you look flogged. I yep. try to wear zinc as, sun cream as much as I can, but you can't always. But No, it's, no. You forget it and you're like, fuck. And you feel it even worse when you're forgetting it. You know, you're like, oh, I fucking feel it. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to wear those. Feel like, it now from these. Wearing these, these hooded, hooded, hooded fisher shirts. It's, it keeps you out of the sun pretty good. Yeah. Like my neck used to get roasted, eh, fishing, but I hate yeah, wearing sun cream. Notice you don't wear collared shit, eh? I hate wearing sun cream, man. Yeah, okay. But you'd like you like zinc? Zinc's all right, but sun cream, I don't know. I just don't like I hate it's it, eh? Because so like, like when you're fishing especially, like you put, put On sun cream. You know, I, don't use, I never bait. use bait. We just fish with them jigs, but... Yeah, a uh, couple of jigs, dude. Jesus Christ! I but, hope um, this will help my fucking streak, dude. I hope it does. Yeah, it will, mate. Come, on, <laughs> come up to where I live and we'll go fishing yeah, one day. Yeah, fucking Put you on some big I'm dogs. I'm keen as shit, man. Yeah, no, sun cream's a big one for me. I, I wanna. I don't want to be getting skin yeah. cancer. I know that was random to bring up, but I reckon it's fuck it, It's a big thing, dude. No, it's eh? a legit question, yeah. mate. It's a big thing in WA, man. People Australia wide, people are getting cooked by the sun. Yeah, I know. And the zinc. Not a lot of the world understand that our sun is stronger than most, eh? Yeah, I don't, and I don't get it. Well, I'll I was on layers cooked, mate. Yeah, <laughs> fucking oath. Um, here's a question. So, do you ever plan on returning uh, to Indo like long term? I know you've just been there. Yeah, for 10, 10 hours. Yeah, it's fucking <laughs> wild, dude. No, I need we, a couple of days to recover from that. No, no so that's where it's, it's flat out. Mate. I got back up. yesterday. Yeah, it's fucking wild. I, I, do you know what? Until I see you sitting here, Matt, I thought to myself, oh, he's so fucking busy, dude. He might cancel. Like, I understand. And I do, eh? I, and I, I, I can't believe I'm un, un, fucking, it's uh, unbelievable how you sort of stuck. And said, oh, "Yeah, dude. Right. If I'm if I'm going to be somewhere, if I say I'm going to be somewhere, I'll be there." Well, the one thing, one thing that pisses man. me off in life is the people that don't <laughs> say their word, man. If you ask me to do something, I'll always do it. Yeah, like I'm definitely one of them people who was like, "If you're going to ask me, a, if you want me to do something, I'll be there on that time for you always." Like that's, I think everyone should be like that, man. Oh, fuck, man. I I, I can't believe it. it. It's it's incredible. But mm. sorry, man. So yeah, Indo, Indo. Yeah. So when we. we we obviously last year bought this house and the plan was to live six months and six months and six months in Australia, yep. six months Indo. Um, those plans got thrown out of the water a little bit, but um, that's our, still our goal. Yeah, beautiful. Oh. So you've got a deep love for Indonesia. Oh, I love it, mate. Fuck. It's the... I, it, I love... Like, if the that, people, the landscape. It's just the, the diversity when you go there, eh? Right? Like, everything about it's so good. Yeah. But when you get away from all the busy hustle and bustle and you go fish, the fishing's off its head, bro. Yeah. Yeah, gotcha. And have you found that out through just... Like, how did you meet all these people, all these guys in Indo? How did you meet them all? Did you just, purely just, just rock up? Just being friendly, man. Like, like most Aussies in Australia are fucking idiots, right? They just go there and get pissed. I'd go to someone and go fishing with him. And I'd Can go, I go fishing with you? Yeah. Yeah, I'd be like, see, who's the best captain here, you know? And, and they're like, oh, he's the best. So now I've got this captain called Wayan. He's absolutely incredible, bro. He, he's, he's a full, fully blown waterman. He knows wow. everything about the water. Like, yep. I've been fishing with him for years. And learnt a lot from him, I'm guessing. Yeah, big time, man. Fuck, dude. Jesus but like now he's, he's... But I just met him through just talking to people about who's good and who's not you know what I mean it's a word of mouth to everything eh? yeah and uh, interacting interacting mm. with people being relatable I've been, I've been on some boats where they, you can just tell the captains are just absolutely just there for the money and they were just you're fishing on sand like I'm my, my jig's like you can feel it when it hits yep. sand or coral or whatever and I'm like we're on sand bruss and he goes no best spot best spot and I'm like bro come on Doesn't get work. me 
<laughs> doesn't want to show you. Yeah, and, and you're paying three hundred bucks a fishing trip, and I'm just go. You go home with no fish, and then this dude's got his own little GPS handheld thing, and he takes you to his spots, and you're getting Fuck. thirty kilo amberjack every yeah. drop, and you're like, this guy knows, man. And they're and, and also they're letting you film as well, but they they have that trust in oh, you bro, that so you're not going to let that shit away. No, man. they love it when you film. Oh, how good? Because they love being on camera, man. They they froth it. Mm. So when you film, they just they love it. They're in the background like, yeah, they're, they're, yeah they're, they're, they've got a real awesome personality. They're, they're beautiful they? people, man. Yeah, eh? yeah, fuck. I remember going to Thailand. No, I don't know if it's uh, any similar at all. It might sound yeah, racist. It probably is. Um, but they were the kindest fucking people, dude. The kindest people. It's mm. just amazing. You know, when I think character, you build character when you go through tougher times like them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Tough times build character, I guess. But um, I... You know what? I, I, I think I said to you before <laughs> this fucking 20 minutes. I was like, yeah, dude, that might be it. You know what I mean? We're two hours, 10 minutes. I got to check this shit. It's probably turned off. At least the audio is okay anyway. Mm. And by the way, guys, if you hear any audio in the background, it, it sounds like a child stuck in the front room. It's my dog. So I got to show you him actually, dude. Can you lock your dog up for me? Yeah, lock, I, I chain him up with a choker. No, oh, here we go. <laughs> this, this is like way out west. So like... With like podcasts and stuff like that, are you a podcast listener? Alpha blokes, come on, man! Like I, I, I love I've, alpha blokes. I've only just, just got onto podcasts in probably the last six months. Eh? Interesting, man. Mm. What got you into that? Fishing with one of the boys was playing a podcast, and I'd listen to it. I don't know. Just got onto it, man. Yeah. I usually just sometimes listen. you get sick of music. Yeah, I just listen to music usually. Eh? Yeah. Or I usually listen to like uh, uh, like the local radio. I love listening to local radio. Fucked. Yeah, bro. I'll, <laughs> and I'll drive. I'll drive. See those signs? I'll drive like hours into the bush and just listen to local radio and learn about shit because it's informative, man. Like you learn about. I just learn about shit, bro. I wondered. I wondered who like, listened to those. How so much? How much do you get for a, sh- a heap of shit? A heap. The head of sheep these days. Hmm. Mm, I know because I listen to local radio. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean, man? You learn shit. I love learning new shit. Yeah, righto. And like ever since I've moved out into the bush and it's like the wheat country, you start learning about like farming and agriculture and shit. And yeah. they talk about it. They have like agri- agriculture hour for five hours and you just learn about shit. Yeah. Oh, like how, how canola, canola is made and like what does the music teach you? Yeah. yeah no, you're right. So I sort of love just, a I'm bit of Parkway though, my man. Oh, man, I'll pump Parkway. <laughs> no, a little bit of Amity Affliction. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, Amity all, I'm Park, all over that. Dude. Yeah. But, um... Oh. Yeah, every now and then, I'll, well, most of the time I've got the radio on. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I've, I've actually exhausted most of my questions, but I got so much more I still want to ask you. Yeah, so, let's go, bro. Um, do you think there's a formula for YouTube? Hmm. Definitely, consistency is the number one thing. Yeah, that- yeah, I hear that a lot. Actually, I do. And fuck, man, we we're just talking about it while we we're pouring a drink. How. You know, you, you're literally saying like, oh, because of the 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 foot thing, how much it's throwing you behind. Like, I've got I've, I've got to get this done. I've got to get this done. I'm down here to see my mum. I'm down here to buy a rifle. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, just how much commitment it takes. Um, For me, well, I think you definitely need a, a consistency. You, consistency is the number one thing. You, obviously, your thumbnail's got to be on point. Yeah. Because if you don't have a good thumbnail, you're not going to get... That's that's seriously the number one thing. You've got a thumbnail is going to be good, which I don't think I'm that good at, actually. No, like, you got great thumbnails, but I think another thing is you've got to deliver. You've got to fucking deliver what's in that title. So you've got to deliver like, what's in that one thumbnail. One thing that I absolutely, absolutely will never do, my chick has got a great ass, right? But I will never put it in a thumbnail. Oh, I fucking love that, dude. Never will I do that because these greasy little people out there who do that. That's it, happened. They're That's just, happened. They're just, they're just, everyone does it, bro. And like, hats off to them, man. Good on them. They're going to be greasing for, you know, it'll get, it'll get so many more you views. You fucking haven't, actually. You haven't. I've oh. never, ever, ever put my chick's ass in a thumbnail. Yeah. But she's got a good one on her, but I won't do it because it's not what I'm, like. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I don't care about that shit, man. Like, really, like. I want people to enjoy the video. I don't want them More to be gritty. like click on it. Like every now and then you can have a little bit of clickbaitness, but if you're going to be throwing your chit, your chick into it just because you're getting views, like come on, bruh, you know, videos yeah. aren't good enough. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Spot on. There's a lot of it happening. Oh, it happens 100%. every day. And I understand why. And hats off to him, man. It's sex sells every day of the week. Like it's especially like some dirty old man sitting in his house, 10 beers deep is going to click on that video hundred percent. Yeah. But, Fuck, you're right. I don't want to be doing that. So, but thumbnail is 100 something. It's, it's something that's quite important, I think. Yeah, very yeah, 100%. important. And then, obviously, you just need to have 
your video has got to be good, man. You've got to catch the attention of the person within yeah. the first three minutes of the video. And then you've got to have a storyline, which is fair income. Yep. And then you've got to have an ending. It's like a full thing. It, it, it is, isn't it? It's mm. a whole... It, it's well, like a... It's, it's, it's massive, bro. That's what they reckon a movie is, isn't it? A movie is like an intro. Well, essentially, you're and making there small has, movies everywhere. Yeah, it is. It, there has to be struggle. Like mm. a... Like, uh, what do you call it? Adversity. Yeah, it should start here. That's and go it, dude. That's and go it. Down and then end. <laughs> That's it. It's meant to be like a graph that you follow, but I don't do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But you Just can't. You can't follow naturally. that. But yeah, I think um, there is definitely. You definitely should follow some sort of a. I don't really follow one too much. I think my thumbnails no. could be better. No, because I was going to say, you know, as far as uh, delivering on the thumbnail, you've put out videos where you've tried to chase something, and it hasn't happened. You have put it up, and that's real life. It's fucking great how they're peppered in as well. Mm. So sometimes I'm gonna, I'm, I'm going to go out and fucking kill it with Red Emperor and and um, Jewfish and all that. But sometimes I'm going to fucking flop as well. Doesn't happen. You well, know? that's the thing with posting weekly. You can't you can't hit the nail on the head every time. Eh? That's the yeah. hardest thing, bro. Yeah, hundred like, percent. If you, could, if you could hit the nail on the head every time you went out, holy shit, dude! You, you, you'd be big. You'd be so big, Mister Beast. When you got that fucking backing, that money, that coin behind you. I mean, yeah, yeah. Like the things that he does is incredible. What is what's he doing? Posting months a month or two months or something oh, like that? Eh? And it's not that it's not that much, but it, the 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 time that it takes to do those videos and mm. it's also in other languages so it uploads to each yeah we've done that I've got that have you really do yeah I didn't know that so we've got What's... a Spanish channel have you really man yeah we got you it's... clever bugger we've got field days espanol is, is, is that what it's called yeah bro Oh, you fuck! Why man. would you not capitalize on on? A hundred percent, man. Like you put so much work and effort into making something. The videos are already made, bro. You just got to put it out. But we did something different. So you can like YouTube does a um, they they YouTube YouTube will translate it for you. That's clever, man. But it's man. so bad. <laughs> it's really bad. It's, close. it's free. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So, and then transcribes if, it. If you're in a video with my chick. It doesn't change her voice to a girl's voice. It just goes like the same voice, and it's so shit. <laughs> gotcha. So we, yeah, we've only, we've only just we've only, pays people, doesn't he? So we pay someone to do ours. Fucking hell, dude! Like I said at the start, how are you doubting that you haven't got leverage and you you numbers aren't that big? You're fucking crazy, dude. That's crazy. So we pay awesome. We pay someone to do our dubbing. To dub it, yeah, okay, yeah. So like when I speak, I speak. When my chick's in the videos, the chick will speak over her voice. And then, like, when you do the one on YouTube, it's just like, yeah, doggies, welcome back to another video. And it's so <laughs> shit. Where this dude who does our dubbing, he's like, yeah, doggies, welcome back to another. Like, it's so good, bro. So we've, that would have been hilarious the first time you would have so heard we've, that. So we've literally just started YouTube again with wow. that channel. And we've just, Interesting, man. So we've just gone back to the start and we're doing it all again. Wow. But we Can have, I ask how long ago? Was this like no, a month or something? Or no, this is like maybe four months ago we started. Wow, that's clever, dude. But it's been. Can I ask where you got the idea from? Was it from Beast? No, it's from my girlfriend. Come up with. Fuck. Mac Mac Ten was like, how do we, you know, how do we fucking push it further without doing as much work? And yeah. then she she was she, she was like, Spanish clever, is the man. second or third most spoken country in the world. So we um. She looked into it and then she found out that YouTube does the dubs and it was absolutely horrendous. So we found someone to dub, which is expensive, dude. But yeah, I a, wanted b- about it's that. It's expensive, bros. Wow. So we're out forking a shit ton of money, but it's already been monetized, man. So it's, we're making money already, but it's not repaying what it, what it makes now. But in, yeah. in a year, it'll be, we'll be laughing. Yeah, but like you say, you've got that catalog ready to go. Yeah, we've You're got just releasing and, all the shit. I think we've got like 250 videos or something in the background. So we oh, just give him... To, what a beautiful feeling. We just give him to him. He will do it. And then it's, so it's like, it's just like I said at the start, right? It's a business. You've got to think about... Hey, 100%, it's, it's man. It's just like that. Fuck. That's wild, dude. The more, Jesus like, Christ. Man, I, got, I, I fucking hate money, man. Money does nothing for me, but when you've got money, you've got freedom, and freedom is everything for us. So that's the main uh, reason. It's a fucking root of all evil. It, it, like everyone's it, like, you don't need money. Bullshit. You, no, need, you no. need money. Yeah, there's a certain amount that would make you happy. It's like money doesn't buy happiness. It's like... Yeah. Well, it doesn't buy happiness because I can sit in the bush with a coffee, my little FDYS <laughs> coffee and sit yeah. there, and I'm, and I'm so happy. I don't need nothing, but... It cost me fuel to get there, and, it, and then I'd love. And you got other people to worry about, you know, like yeah. you know, you and your wife have built some. Uh, your partner have built some. Well, wife. No. <laughs> Soon to <laughs> be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, fucking excellent. But yeah, you got other other things to worry about, you know, like like you say, your home base. 
you know mm. that's what you love that's your sanctuary man yeah. you know what I mean so you got that to pay for as well but it's like how good I can't believe that man I never knew that now yeah. I'm gonna look up the field days Espanol that's it mate get on there how fucking good man yeah mm. so uh, do you have plans of like going um, to a different yeah maybe like Hindi a, well we're just gonna we're gonna hit the most highest speaking bastard. countries right so Hindi's the next one on the list is it really yeah uh, it's got, the idea was to get this one monetized which it is and it's already bringing in money right so that's like we don't even call it money in we call it freedom months, so my chick's like look at this we've got that much more freedom in the bank account so we call it freedom because like at the end of the day that's what we're chasing we're not yeah. chasing money oh and you imagine you imagine people from but it's, like India and that how much they'd froth that how different that is yeah, it's sick because my, my my nan's my nan is actually Spanish, right? So when really yeah, do. she's from Gibraltar, yep. so she speaks Spanish. So when I speak, when I told her we're doing it, she was just she didn't even she just like found it on YouTube and she sat there for like days watching it. And I was just like, she's like, this is so good, <laughs> and she's like copying what they're saying. She's like copying what I'm saying. And I was like, I know what I'm saying. I filmed it. So she's trying to tell me, but I'm like, I already know this, man. But yeah, it's sick, bro. See, the, the funny thing is, you're so. Oh, I hope you don't take this the wrong way. You're so unassuming. You seem like just the average Joe, the like the everyman. That's why I'm, I'm so I wanted you to come on. But it's like I think people fucking overlook the fact that you, you're thinking about that shit. You're strategizing. You're thinking about diversifying. You know, it's it's fucking incredible. I reckon people mm. we gobsmacked that you um that that you've thought of that as well, and and that Mac Ten has thought of that as well. Like it's incredible. It. it, it you know, to a certain extent, I reckon you do need a team, but how better, uh, what better than to, you know, to trust your partner like that, you know, someone who's only got your fucking interests at heart, mm. no um, ulterior motive, um, but this rolls on, did you want to say anything to that, like, nah, man, it's, I can hear my dog in the background, well, yeah, okay, dog sorry dog. dude, far out, I shouldn't have brought him out, I know, well, well, you did. he's a coach. beautiful boy, yeah, I just met him, met yeah. him quickly, so, Matty, like expanding, um, like, have, do you have any big ideas in the pipeline? You don't need to say them, but like, you, obviously, you're trying to think like a, a step ahead. Yeah, we got heaps of shit coming. Oh, that's so fucking. I, and I don't want you to say them 100%. I don't want you to, but how far in front do you think you are, man? Like, you've told me in the kitchen you did, and I'm fucking very honored to know, but it's how far do you. Do you always want to be ahead? Are you thinking about what you told me and then further? Yeah, like I'm a year or two years ahead already. That's fucking wild. Mm. Really, man. Mm. Jesus. That's How what haven't I... you got a, a beer sponsor? Because you want bigger. Because I've had them. I don't take them yet. The longer the lever, the longer the the longer the lever, the more power you have at the end of the day. And that's what I... That's why we don't have sponsorships. That's why we're doing everything by ourselves. But if you, yeah, it's it. Once once we do once we do what we have in in, in stock, it'll be it is going to be sick. I think people would be very uh, surprised to hear that you don't have uh, sponsors because, like for example, uh, for example, Stabycraft, mm. you tag them in your shit, and a lot of people would take that the wrong way, Matty. You know what I mean? They'd be like, oh, he's got an obligation. Uh-huh. To well, tag the, that, the but reason, let's clear that. Yeah, the reason you I tag fucking is don't. We've been in conversation about sponsorships, but they've never like. We, I, I always say I'm not. I don't want to do it, but I'll just do it because I'm using their boat. You know what I mean? I, I don't have. I don't have any obligation. And you to believe do it. it? You but love it? It's a fuck. It, if I had to be sponsored by someone, I would be sponsored by Stabycraft. It's, yeah. Honestly, bro, I've been in bar crushes. I've been in some of the best boats that I've ever built, and that is the best boat I've ever stepped in. It's Shit. it's incredible. Yeah. Once once that southwester comes in and you're driving in or out of the crashing with, into with it, seas, yep. that thing just goes into its own. Houses. It goes into its own next next level. Fuck, dude! Incredible boat. Well, wow. yeah, I'm not obligated to tag them, but I do because I'm using their boat. Like I don't know. Like maybe we can make a future relationship in the future, but for now I'm just using their boat. I bought it with my own money. Jesus Christ! Yeah, and and that's the that cloudy area of social media. How. Uh, people would assume that that assume that dude because you've tagged them in it you're big mm. you've tagged them in it that assume that you got that for free you've never bothered to fucking justify it I don't need to justify nah, it nah no, nah <laughs> because it comes oh, I did I did an episode back in this podcast about like trusting your creator yeah you know, that uh, whether you trust you know because there's a lot of bullshit going around would, yeah, you, would you say that too much mate yep and whether you trust your your fucking YouTuber or content creator 
you know, like, I love that you've never, ever found the need to justify anything. It's like, fuck you. You believe... I am... This is me. I am what I am. <laughs> you trust me or you don't. Mm. But the fact that you've paid for that boat and you fucking... And you've literally tagged them in it without... that They would absolutely love you for that like the, the the transparency in that is incredible yeah like I've been hit up by the marketing people from Stabycraft and that and oh always, I couldn't they, imagine your always, fucking inbox dude I think I'd they've always hit me up but myself. I just still like it's the it's the plan is not yet like I've got a plan That's and we're going to run with the plan so we're yep. still sticking to it but you can see a lot of these YouTubers who are coming up with you know like smaller accounts I'll just take yeah. anything that's going which yeah. I think is not a great yeah. idea you should concentrate on the content if you want to run it like a business or yeah. you, you know what I mean taking oh. taking free shit ain't going to get you nowhere man yeah you got to oh, push oh. it you got to you got to work hard yeah yeah 100% and you've got a big picture in mind haven't you you've obviously got a big picture are you always changing that picture at all nah nah you've got a big picture in mind and you're fucking sticking to it yeah yeah how's that trajectory looking good Fuck yeah. We're nailing it. We're on the line. It's not good enough to way, is he? <laughs> good. Thank you. No, I don't want to say too much. Like, no, just, good just, on I you, just, man. We good did that you. trip to Indo. That went really good. That meeting was incredibly good. And it, that'll that'll definitely prospect something incredible in the future. But you just don't know until it's... I don't want to say... Like, I've said things in the future when we started the channel and it, and it didn't work. And you just look like an idiot. So now I'm just zip lips until you see it. Shut the fuck up until it happens. You know, never but, let but me know I'll, your like, next we, move. <laughs> everything, I do, everything I do is for the field day fam. You know what I mean? Like, I don't just want to bring out a t-shirt. I want to bring a t-shirt that's works and that's comfortable and it's going to be good for them not for me like yeah you know what i mean so we're really Fuck. grinding towards that sort of we want to bring out the best things for our audience Fuck, that's that's dude. sort of where i'm going fucking wall but to, fucking unicorn to do that fuck me there's some serious work in the background yeah of no course there is and that's that's what i want to speak about next mm. uh the behind the scenes emails and stuff like um we're <laughs> Two and a half hours. Sorry, dude. Fucking hell. I'm going to keep you Don't fed, so- dude, with them, eh? I told you that you've got me until 8.30 tonight, mate. So we're good to go. Let's make this one a burner. Oh, man. I'm fucking honoured. Let's go. All right. Back again, Matty. Fucking awesome, mate. Um, so, I, I do you know what? Uh, the further these go on, I ne- never am never sure about um, where we left off, you know? It's, it's tricky to keep on top of that. But do you know what I appreciate with uh, with this shit, this podcast stuff, is that it's more the chats that you have out of the filming. Mm. Like, I, I really got to know you so well. And, and I... Like, fuck, dude. Did you notice that I was shaking <laughs> before when I gave you a beer? I'm like... Argh. No, not at all. I did Thank God. I actually, Thank God. No, no, not at all. <laughs> um... No, I, I appreciate it uh, again for the 90th time. But, dude, I, I've written down a few things here that we we're talking about. So, um, developing products, new mm. products, you know, and thinking of new ideas and trying to keep ahead of the game and stuff like that. There's only so much I can do myself personally with my niche or whatever. There's so much more you can do with your niche because you're so much more open and stuff. Can you... Uh, give us an idea of what it takes to develop a product. I mean, literally, I'm sitting here with a field day's slot. No, they're they're the jigs. They're they're a different jig. Yep. Yeah, so um, that's the that's the um, handmade, hand finished, fully customized jigs. Them ones. And and I'm um, you know looking at these these here. It's mm. not just a simple product, man. It, it it isn't that. There's so much work that goes into something as simple as this. From the bag to the jig to the person who makes the jig to the uh, the person who makes the the tag. Mm. We were talking about that before. Like, do you enjoy that process, or I love what do you it. go through for that process? I love it. So when I started making the jigs, I would look. I went on to man, just to be straight up. I've got no idea what I'm doing, right? Yep. So I'm just first time I've ever done this kind of stuff. But when I wanted to bring jigs out, I went online and and you could find out that. Just about 80% of the population, whoever owns a fishing shop, just has their jigs coming from some busted-ass Chinese company. And I'm like looking at these jigs and I'm like, you're joking. This big company who I buy jigs from are buying jigs from this Chinese company. And they're they're, they're selling two or three dollars a jig, man. Yeah. They're buying from China. They're putting their own packaging on it and they're selling on their website for like $18 a jig. And I was like, 
that's dirt, man. Like, yeah. I was just un- super unimpressed, right? So I was like, I am not... That's something I would really want to stand by is the quality of things that we bring out in the future. It's going to be the number one thing. So I said, I'm not doing that. I want to do custom jigs, handmade, hand-finished, like, beautiful quality. So I found a guy... It took me a bloody long time. We flew to Indo. Yeah. Um, and that's what I wanted to talk about, the time that it takes. It's not just a fucking mm, a bag they, ordered from here. It's so separate. You know, I'm glad you're here to talk about that. Yeah, these jigs have cost me, cost us in time and flights. And this is Ooh. this is a year ago, maybe, we did this. We flew to Indo. We went to every shop. We went to everything, trying to find someone. We went to China. China's just bulk warehouse. You don't want to be part of that. You can. You can make money. But, like, it, I, I feel that it's... I want to have something personal, something beautiful, and something that's going to last the fish for, for a of. long time. Yeah, of course, man. And at the same time, yeah, of course, be proud of. So we... Um, Went away from China and I found this beautiful Indonesian family. So these jigs are made, handmade, start to finish. Like I'm talking, he gets a bit of stainless steel wire. He bends it himself. He's got a bucket of lead. Then he pours the lead into this mold. It's a once-off mold. No one will have the design of that jig ever. Then he'll, he'll hand paint it. He'll hand bind the hooks. He'll hand package it. The whole thing's done in this Indonesian family. So not only are we making these like customized beautiful jigs that are strong as all shit, but they're also you're helping this incredible yeah. family, and every time we make an order, I always slip in an extra two hundred. Oh, I'm glad bucks. you mentioned that because I wanted to mention that as well. A little you know? bit, and a he little didn't bit expect of, that. A little bit. He's, every time I pay him, he's like, "Too much, too much," and I'm like, "Bro, <laughs> come on, man! Like this is incredible." So, but it, it, to do that, it, it costs us a fortune. Like we don't make too yeah. much money yeah. on the jigs. Like yep. the, the the profit margin on making jigs is is very very small. Where but you I could, stand behind them. I could go, oh man, I've, I've had reviews from yeah, people saying these things are incredible. Like I use them every day. They're fucking incredible. Yeah. I can back them 100%. Split rings, hooks, they're the best quality you'll ever buy. But it not, not only that, you're feeding this dude's family. They're incredible. They're fucking sick. Yeah. Good. And they're fully customizable. But yeah, he's a beautiful man with a little family in Indonesia. He makes them from start to finish. The glow in the dark paint is all done by himself. Beautiful. And I it's think doing things like new. that, that's what that's where we want to take the, the, the YouTube channel with the clothing side. Like I want to pride myself in everything I make. I don't just want to make a hoodie. I want to make a hoodie that's incredibly good to wear. It's not going to shrink. You don't get shit on your shirt when you wear it. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> 100% my shit shrinks. Yeah. So I want to make the best of the best. And, and that takes so much time. Mm. Bro. Like mm. that that in itself is a full-time job i mean you could you you could jump on to you know aliexpress all that type of shit Mm. you could do it no worries at all probably what you know all 90 percent of these companies do and that takes time that takes time alone but then taking something that's quite custom made by a family and then i was trying to say to you before the tag the fdys tag like that alone the fucking amount of emails that you need to send and no no you you said it man you said you had to send that back two or three times four times it took yeah. to make that yeah. one tag four and times that's, it's time when you're it's in not the bush perfect you, until you're happy with it you know you've got to get Starlink out you got to send emails yeah. you got to put the computer away you got to it's it's fucking hard man yeah yeah I'm trying to really drive this home with this podcast as to you know fuck it. for myself as a small creator like imagine the workload on him as well um. And I appreciate you telling me that, but I've written something down here as well. You know, you literally, before I turn the camera on, what are you filming, blah, blah, blah. Um, how did you learn all this stuff about filming and stuff like that, like frame rates, all that bullshit as well? You you were saying that you, you used to ring your sister and it's yeah. so humble, man. It's so fucking awesome. So I just did it. The- it's just like I started from scratch. I'd make a, I'd make videos, different frame rates, YouTube. I'd look up as many people as I could back yeah. then. Using, YouTube's great for learning mm, too, eh? That's all I used, ever use YouTube for is just learning how to yeah. do things. Like yep. that's what I use it for. But I'd, I'd, there's so many different people telling you different shit out there on YouTube. It's hard, man. So there I'd is. do, I'd do ten things that ten people would tell me, and then I'd try to watch them, and they look good on my computer. Then I'd put them up privately yeah. on YouTube before I even started the channel. And I'd tell my sister, "Oh, watch this. Is it any good?" She's like, "Yeah, it's kind of clear." Mm. I'm like, what do you mean, kind of? Is it fucking crystal clear? Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? And I didn't know, man. I had no idea what we were doing. Mm, fuck, it's funny you say that. I've spoken to another creator, Harry from Fighter Fork. I don't know if you know of um, Harry, but he has like a one of these fucking Fandango curved screens mm. and it shows true color. I didn't even know that was a thing. It shows true color and I'm sitting here on fucking... I, I bought both of these secondhand. 
<laughs> They're fine for me. I Fucking do, yeah. no worries at all. It does not matter what you got. No, nah, I, I think so as well. You like know, I started, as long as you can get it out there. Legit, I started on probably that laptop would have been worth 80 bucks back in the day. Oh, fuck, dude. It would have been an good. $80 laptop, a, a GoPro 7 or a 6 or something I started on, and that was me for a year. I just pushed through and I, I had an aircon, I had a ladder and I was good to go, bruss. That was me, man. I was just... just <laughs> aircon and a ladder. Yeah, if you've yeah, got, a, if you've got hey, a... if you've, you've got, got a cooling a, system and a height system, let's go. That's it, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> um, th- this one, I've just popped up, man. So uh, you can expand on this as much as you want. There's two more questions I want to ask you, Matty. Um, what advice would you give, man, to someone starting out? I know it's so cliche, man, but mm-hmm. I'd love to hear it from you. Well, you've said it a million times. I think the most important thing is just being consistency. Eh? Just, yep. just if you really want it that bad, it doesn't even actually matter if it's YouTube. Like if you want to get a good body in the gym, if you want to bloody do anything in life, it, it just consistency. Yeah, yeah. Just give yourself a every Sunday. I want to post a video. Just post a video every Sunday. Whatever it takes to do that, just yep. do it. That's what I did, man. Like I was like, every Sunday I want to post a video at seven o'clock. That was my thing. And then all the bullshit that comes with it, you just got to deal with it. And the bullshit that comes with it's hectic. But yeah. you just deal with it. <laughs> yeah, you know that's I mean? it. Yeah. You, you'll know, I guess, within a couple of months if you're cut out for this, if you if you get affected too much by negative comments. But I will say, like, if you just push through for the first year, like, it's, it's hard, bro. A year and a half, it was for me. Nearly two years, it was for me. But I pushed through it. I wouldn't stop because I had a dream. And, man, I can now wake up on a Tuesday morning, water, water me garden, and I've got no, you know what I mean? I can just hang out. I, I love how that's your your um, definition of happiness is waking up watering your shit with a cup of coffee you said that a couple of times actually it's fucking awesome it's yeah, refreshing it's, it's your happy place dude going fishing is my number one thing but that's also my job now you know what I mean so like going fishing back in the day before YouTube would have been surfing would have been the number one fishing would have been yeah. number two but because I don't film watering the trees with the coffee that's me thing man and it's very hard to film surfing on a GoPro <laughs> yeah I've, done, I've, I've tried it a hundred times eh? yeah just <laughs> just doesn't work out nah you know you know you got to be surfing good waves every time and, and someone from the shore as well you got to be guess. getting the good swells and rock, you know you just can't find it every day fuck jesus christ so that advice is awesome um very general like the consistency is a thing but it's also like you got to be yourself like there's 100%. so much more matter no, well, there's the, it just goes on and on be yourself because see, people oh. are very very soon they're going to find out that you're fake yeah you can't put on a facade Facade? Yeah. Versade. Yeah, facade. Facade. It is facade. I don't, I don't you know can't put that on. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same. Don't worry about it. Too deep now. <laughs> but too if, deep. Man, if, if, you, if you're floor. talking shit and you're just faking your videos and then if you're doing it for two to three years, you're going to slip up and you're going to be yourself yeah, at some point. Like and too. then you, 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 you know, just be yourself, bro. People are going to love you for who you are. It doesn't matter what you do. Fuck. Or who you are. Like, yep. if you're doing iPhone reviews and, and, you, and yourself... People will clash with your personality and eventually follow you. Mm. Like, it's just the way it goes. It's whether you choose to be affected by those negative comments or brush them off. Mm. I reckon that's a big thing. Well, fuck having, the ne- having fuck thicker the skin. Man. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Like, what is a negative comment, really? Some dude with greasy Dorito fingers, a fat chubby dude sitting on his couch. Dude, like you. Like the host of this podcast. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> No, but you know what I mean? Like, I'm out in the bush living my dream, and some mm. little chubby man with his Dorito fingers is on his laptop I have done fucking. It like that. Yeah, he wears the plastic bag. Like, it yeah. doesn't matter, bro. Like, I don't care what you say, man. I'm living my dream. And in, that's what you shouldn't care about what people think. Yeah, and in, fucking in enjoy that in, it's free. But it's just in life in general, you know? Yeah. You want to wear a dumb hat to the shops? Wear a dumb hat to the shops. You're not going to see that person again. Ah, oh, fucking brilliant. Um, I keep meaning to wind it down, but I've got another question. Sorry, dude. It's How right. do you treat being uh, recognized in public? <laughs> no, so it's good, half, dude. halfway through a delicious dark and stormy there um mm. at the start it was a little bit rocky eh? because I, I, I never thought it would be like this like people coming up to me you can have a photo i feel like, like you're this, the no. same now you even said it in my my kitchen this rv you're like it doesn't but feels weird yeah it still doesn't feel right but man i'll just pull up and have a yarn with anyone now yeah. right? it's good yeah like i'm taking <laughs> quite fo- clearly taking <laughs> photos <laughs> Like, I'll be at the shops and just take photos with random people and we'll do videos and it's it's fun, man. Like, I'm at the boat ramp and there's always... Yeah, long, I was going to say. Because I got me the troopy with the plates there, there's always kids yeah, waiting for me, does. man. I'll yeah. do... Like, you know, I'll bend over backwards for the grommets, man. Yeah, I'll take course, them out. Man. I'll grab, I'm like, what are you boys doing? They're like, we need mullet for live bait. Get on, boys, and I'll take them around the marina oh, and we'll catch mullet. Dude. 
You know what I mean? No, like you, I, you don't advertise that shit, though, man. It's so... What I've found out about you tonight is that you're very humble. You're very... You're in... Uh, would you say that you're in a little bubble where you're like... You're focused, boom, boom, no worries, and, and you know what comes with the territory, and you welcome it? But I feel like you're all about the grommets. Like, you're all about fucking... I don't oh, know, you're all about the field day fam. It's all about the field day fam, mate, really. Like, if like some kids are like, field days, like the kids are so excited when they see you, man. And I, I, I honestly think to, think of myself... My daughter's going to fucking punch me a in my normal chin human. for not meeting you tonight. Yeah, right? well, I'll come back and say good day, mate. Oh, man. You're, you're, you're fucking amazing. So, th- this is this is the last one. I'm, I'm sorry, dude. Um, well, without saying is, too much, dude... This is going to be a heavy one. No, I? no, 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 no. We... Without uh, saying too much uh, and giving too much away, where do you want to be, Matt, like, in five years? Honestly, man, give it. Give us a fucking snapshot. Five years. Probably doing what I'm doing right now with a tribe of kids. Oh, fuck. Amazing. Like is there I, a number I, of kids you want? Oh, Sorry to I, say. I, it's hard to say because I've got none right now, but... I'd love a couple. Yeah, yeah, imagine. I'd love, I'd love to take a group, of, a, a group of kids. I'd love to take like my kids into the bush and show them the things that I All do, the and, skills. and like you know, like just, just not even just, just let them eat crab. Show them a life that's away let from them, the normal life. You know, what let I mean? them eat crab. Poor things. <laughs> Poor things eating crab. Fucking love that. Like I want to. I'd love my kids or my family to live a life out in the outback and out in the bush, but also have beautiful social skills and stuff. But also and a wicked base camp as well. But yeah, which like, you're setting up. Back at home with the goats and chooks and that, but yep. just have a kid. Just have kids who are like, I'd love to have like a daughter who knows how to handle a rifle, but also yep. looks beautiful in a dress. I'd love to have a young That's man it. who's got beautiful manners, but can also go out there and fend for himself. You know what I mean? Like just a just a beautiful family, mate. Yeah. Really? That's perfect. And Mac Ten wants the same thing. Yeah, hundred percent. Ah, fuck. That's fucking beautiful. Um, you know, you know what this. <laughs> Uh, it's like I, 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 I'm so honoured that you come on, uh, Matt, and gave me your time, man. Um, and there's so much more I do want to speak about, but I, 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 fuck, I don't know what to say. I, I, I'm gobsmacked at what you've built uh, as well. I, I'd love one day, I'd love to come be your camera bitch or something like that, or I'd love to catch up. I'd come to your house, do a potty yeah, or we'll something a, like we'll, that, we'll, dude. We'll do a round two, mate. Oh, man, I'd love that, but... Can I take a, 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 a moment to say thank you, man. Thank you for inspiring me. Thank you for being a unicorn. Thank you for sticking to your morals, dude. I, I, I've spoken to Matt a lot off of the um, off the microphone tonight, and it's fucking insane how unusual and special that he is. It's fucking crazy. I didn't think that he'd even stick... Oh, not saying anything as you as a character, but it's like... I, I, I didn't know that I'd have you on this podcast until you're sitting here. And I'm fucking un, un, unbelievable that you are sitting here. And thank you, dude. Thank you for giving me your time, man. Is there anything you want to fucking say? Like, um, how, how was your first potty, dude? I actually enjoyed it, mate. It was, ah, it was great. You, <laughs> I think good. I might know the recipe for you, eh? What's that? Dark and Stormings, my man. Yeah, these things are delicious. <laughs> the beats of Pepsi by far, bro. Yeah. Does, doesn't Dark it? and stormy as well. Yeah, yeah. we we'll turn these cameras off. We'll neck a few of these, eh? Fucking oath. I'm keen as mustard, man. Yeah, these are good, mate. No, but, but thank you very much for having me, mate. I appreciate it. It's been how fun. The fuck is he thanking me? No, just the the fact that you take the time to give that to me, man, and the time that you give to grommets and stuff like that, and the message you're sending, and what you're building. Please know that we're all fucking behind you, man. Thank you so much, Matt. No, thank you, brother. Thanks for having me. You're a fucking legend. Yeah, doggy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, mate.